uh, how can I drink beer now? <laughs> exactly. He's got it on upside down. You see this? Submitted for your approval. A band made up of five members, but one, one of them is different. What's different about this band member? Well, I guess we'll just find out tonight in the Trident Zone. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Welcome, 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 <laughs> welcome to our favorite... Oh my god. Are you it's trying to drink it? Are you gonna, don't don't gonna drink to that well. slot. Oh, that didn't go well. That did not. Oh. The record I spilled because I was laughing, not because okay. it didn't work. Oh. All right. <laughs> All right. So, hey, everybody, welcome. Oh welcome. God. Welcome, all our ghouls and ghosts, to the spookiest, the scariest, the best Trident cast of the year, Spooky Cast 2019. <laughs> spooky Cast. We are. Uh, we are here in the basement. We are live on YouTube, and we have and uh, I am uh, uh, I'm Ulysses S. Dragon, and you are Princess uh, Drumblebee. <laughs> Princess Drumblebee, and then uh, Brian over here, Pirate Drisky. Pirate Drisky, and then Brent is uh, going as Upside Down Ninja. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Upside Down Ninja. You kind of have a Shredder thing going on if you just had the samurai helmet. Yep. You and then Aki I'm, I'm is extremely not. comfortable <laughs> with his sweater. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna lift up my uh, haunted sweater. It's it's a haunted <laughs> sweater. Ooh. All right. How's this? That's the beer I had. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, I, like to, I wish it was cold. I'll try one. So we have so we have so much so, so much to talk about on on uh, this spooky cast. Um, we have got Europe, we've got uh, spooky movies, we've got the Patreon party, we've got, I mean, we've got a lot to talk about. But first, uh, why don't you tell us about the cake that you are currently eating. I'm going to get myself oh my a God. slice of that. Oh, man. Hey, Ulysses, so, is the sound working now? Should be. Okay. So we were at, um, we were in Chicago for the... Psycho Stick Show. Pork Fest. Pork Fest. For Pork Fest. Pork and one of our Porktober. Porktober. One of our adoring fans got us a care package, which we'll go through later. And part of that care package was a Portillo's chocolate cake. Yeah. Which, if any of you haven't had Portillo's chocolate cake, leave your home. <laughs> go get it. Put and while you're there, down. get a cake shake. Because they put a piece of the cake in the shake, and you drink, and it's good. There's a cake shake? I've never yeah. had oh, oh, man. Dude, it's where it's at. Is it okay. true they throw like a thing of mayonnaise in it? Yes. <laughs> but you don't tell that to people because then it turns them off from it. They're like, wait, there's mayo. <laughs> wait, there's actually mayo in there? That adds a je ne sais quoi. Yeah, but the... it's fucking amazing. Yep. Cake shakes are where they're at. I mean, you're going to probably feel terrible afterwards. You, not really, though. Just go get it. Mm hmm. Porktober, I hardly know her. <laughs> so we, um,. <laughs> Yeah, we played. I guess I guess we can just start right there. We played uh, Saturday with Psycho Stick, um, Bullet to the Heart, Sin MG, and Fifth and Sick. Fifth and Sick. Yeah, there were a lot of bands. Uh, it was for a good time. Had a good cause. A lot of people showed it was, up. Uh, it was for a good cause. <laughs> good time. For a good time. Awesome. Had a good cause. And good um, and one of our, well, I should say not one of our super fans, but um. Um, Alex and um, and her friends, uh, Anne Marie and the rest of them, uh, made us a gigantic uh, gift back uh, basket gift package. Um, and it and here let me let me take it and you guys can go through it. Yes. And I'm gonna grab some beers that were also in the gift basket. Hey Johnny, <clears throat> thanks for tuning in. That I've taken out. All right, I'm gonna grab some beers. You guys go through it. This entire thing. Like it was a loaded to the top. Full of delicious beers and earth stuff. The entire bottom of it was full, was lined with beer. I think there were like great beer. Four, mm -hmm. four packs and like a two pack, plus two tall, like um, uh, bombers. There was a great picture of Ty's head photoshopped on this super muscular body, but the pixels were all wrong. 
<laughs> they're all right. Yeah, they so, were. We'll say or they were the all end. right. Yeah. Yes. So let's see. We've got Frank. Can I have one of those? Chocolate mint chocolates. We've got. Oh, wow. Black Arlindo, like thanks for joining us tonight, all the way from Brazil. Cheers. We've got Black Like My Soul bath bombs. I assume they just turn... Ooh, let me have one of those. Yeah, enjoy. Hold on. I assume they oh, just I'll turn your you. bath black. There is a lager mm. lolly, artificial beer flavored lollipop. Mmm. Mm. Uh, the Chicago, Illinois shirt that is large, so it defaults to me because apparently... I'm the biggest boy in the band. Hello, Pat. Um, hope your uh, <coughs> emergency band practice today panned out for you. There was a gift certificate to... Where was this place? Oh, Kuma's Corner? Yeah. Yeah, that place is delicious. Their burgers are real. Yeah. When, when Andrew and I went there um, on our anniversary, we uh, got to listen to most of the Power Slave record while we ate. Yeah. It's funny, it says, Two Fang and the Gang from the Chicago Super Two Fang, gang and the fang. Contingent. <laughs> and I have brought back the beers. Meat and metal music. Mm. All right, so there's that. <clears throat> I'm going to go to that restaurant. It's oh, pretty, it's Kuma's pretty Corner? Great. It actually is good quality. Like, it's pretty good. Yeah. And yeah. they're always blaring metal so when you go in there. Kuma's, Kuma's Corner is awesome. Coffee, I bought a... an inflatable wizard hat. For the cat. For the cat. A cat hat. Chicago <laughs> picks a book of metal cats for Oh, uh, for Brett's cat picture of the... Oh. Oh, <laughs> right. Can I see those picks? Yep. See how we did. There you go. Um, oh, I'll, just put that, I'll just put that right there. We've got... Starts with a C A and... metal cat's coloring book. Ooh. Starts see, that with one's, a... That one's for me. Starts yeah. with a C and ends with an O in the middle. There's a hickog. <laughs> Uh, here is the cool picture of the awesome people that gave it to us. Oh, I didn't know Thank that. You. Can I see it? There's a cat in the picture, too. There's yeah. just new stuff in here every time we look. This giant oh, bag oh, of atomic fireballs! <laughs> atomic fireballs. Do any of you so guys like atomic just, fireballs? No, because they're not. <laughs> Sorry, but they're terrible. I'll take, I'll, I'll take some this of them, but I... Five, five pounds, pounds of fireballs. Five pounds. I'll take them. The last person I knew that liked fireballs this much was my 90-year-old grandma. Give them up for <laughs> trick or treat. Right, right. We can we can give them <laughs> up for trick or treaters and yeah, you'll be. And we're not doing. And all the kids are running away crying. It'll be Ooh. amazing. Wait, I'll take that. I want to look fabulous. We've got Ty's Chicago boxers. Yep, yep. <laughs> Here we go. Look, it never ends. Whoa. We've got <laughs> pig boxers. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, it we're never it. ends. Oh, it lives up to the hype. <laughs> whatever, yeah, whatever that is. There's socks. Yeah, everybody's got socks. And got, a, got a pair of Chicago the socks. The coolest socks for each part us. is all these custom chocolates. Yeah, right? We've got the Metal C. These are all chocolates. Seriously, that basket is like a wormhole into another dimension. Got, like, mm -hmm. you keep, you take stuff out and it keeps, like, journey. replenishing. Yeah, and Death Dealer. There's new Death things Dealer. every time you look in there. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, and like... The, oh, a, and there was a... Whiskey um, bottle. A whiskey bottle, all the beer, and a uh, shower beer holder. Yes, which I have utilized uh, and put on my <laughs> on my shower. Yeah. So, we're going to be drinking the beers uh, that they got us. Uh, the first one here is from Hailstorm Brewing Company, the Kaski Tvevevemp, uh, a traditional bohemian dark lager. I mean, I what is it? Kikeski to It's a nice like Griffin or Gremlin or whatever on the bot on the yeah. on the can. So yeah, so hey, mm. thank you, thank you, Alex, thank you, Anne Marie, thank you, everybody, uh, in our Chicago Some crew. Guy. What do what you do? For you the doing? most for the most royal of treatment. Seen if wanted to do more things. Uh, I don't know. Cheers. cheers, cheers, everybody, to the Chicago crew. To the Chicago yeah. crew. You, you have crew. you have a oh oh. oh. I take oh. back everything oh. bad I said about Chicago. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, okay. Yep. Turns out there's good people. I don't take any oh, Hebe's, Hebe's is on. Hey, Hebe's, how you doing? <laughs> so, okay. Uh, we played in Chicago. So... Chicago was... <laughs> are you, are you going to cool down your uh, cool down your beer? No, I'm just trying to make it smoke more. Oh, you got to put more more ice in there. So once it's it's lost its, lost are you its stuff. Are laughing at him or the cat? <laughs> um, so, <laughs> a little, a little bit. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, so uh, Chicago Psycho Stick went really well. Uh, it was super fun. Uh, it was great to see the Psycho Stick guys again. And we're going to be appearing on their... They do uh, live streams now of their <laughs> shows. Uh, like, me? from yep. their uh, clubhouse, I guess. You know, from the, from the Psycho Stick den. Party um, warehouse. Party warehouse, that's what it was. Um, so we're gonna be we're gonna be on one of their party warehouse shows, and we'll let you know when that is in the future. Um, but yeah, what um, could it, possibly go wrong? <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, other than that, I mean, the Chicago show. I thought the Chicago show went really well. It was a fun. It was good energy. It was a fun night. The Brower House is like a completely new place too. Yeah, yeah. when we first Wait. played there, it was barely a stage at all. Yeah, it was like. You know, oh, a quarter oh, of the never, size. Yeah. You, you remember? Our house. Yeah. yeah. And now it's like a massive, awesome music venue. I mean, the outside yeah. the room was like four times bigger. I mean, it was that much larger. Yep. And the stage was quite raised. Yeah. 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 You know, like Lots back of space in the, for activities. Yeah. Oh, you the... forgot one thing that you're sitting on right now. I'm the pillow. On. You're the pillow. Oh, yeah. That's how we got out of there. We yeah, because the map. Our GPS stopped working, so they gave us a pillow. Right. Uh, that has all of the directions of Lombard on it. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so let's talk about you know the ten thousand dollar gorilla in the room, uh, the European tour. <laughs> <laughs> the ten thousand dollar gorilla. Yeah. The European tour. Probably cheap for a gorilla. Um, yeah, I wonder how much gorillas actually are. I bet more. <laughs> Probably more. <laughs> All right, we're going to give you the full play-by-play -play of the European tour, uh, complete with Infinity Scarf and Dragon Wings. Um, so, uh, we did go over some of it before, right? We went over some of it before live, but we didn't... Like, that was well, out of and and Brett, Brett had already departed. Yeah, Brett was gone. So, so this was from, okay. the, from the hostel in Brussels, right. very last night before we flew out very early the next day. That doesn't count. Yeah. You're yeah. saying... Okay. I'm saying that doesn't count because uh, some people might have seen it, but we didn't post it. So, got it, got it. you know, um, yeah. So, okay, we so the, the whole, interestingly enough, the whole thing was set up by um, a friend of a friend who runs a <laughs> record company uh, over there called Rothschild Records, and um, they were friends with our good friends Mega Colossus, who'd been on two tours. <laughs> Bless Sorry, I'm allergic to telling stories. Um, who's Mega been on? Colossus. Uh, two two tours previously with him, and they're like, "Oh, he's a great guy, he's super fun, blah blah blah." Um, so we set up this whole tour, um, and we fly into Brussels. We spend the first night in Brussels um, at this at this hostel, and it's um, and and Brett was already was already in Europe for a while, uh, and a couple days before we met up with him, you me got. Got in, in yeah. gag. <laughs> yeah, he proposed in front of a castle on the bank of the Rhine. He proposed yes. to his girlfriend, and she said yes, which is good because she was stuck in a in a bus with us for like the next ten days, being our merch person. So yes. like that would have been really awkward. He said, <laughs> "Will you marry me, awkward. and will you drive me home from Spooky Cast? Because I'll be drunk." Yeah, and she said yes. Yeah, these are the benefits I get now. <laughs> <laughs> will you take me to the? Trident cast so I can drink all the beer we got in Chicago. <laughs> okay, fine, is what she said. Um, so so we got there and and our whole plan was we were gonna prevent ourselves from getting um fr prevent ourselves from getting like uh, 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 what is it um, malaria malaria by <laughs> drinking a lot of quinine. No, we were we were gonna try to beat the jet lag. Oh. Uh, by staying up, because the, the trick is, is you got to stay up until it's actually nighttime at the place where Boy. you land. Yeah, but so you can you can begin to get your your uh, I think it's called um, circa circadian cycle, Cir circadian period. rhythm. Yeah. yeah, so you can begin to try to adjust it to the the uh, local time. Right, right. Which um, was seven hours ahead of U.S. Uh, seven hours ahead specifically of Central U.S. time. Yep. Yeah. And we left, uh, we left Madison at like 6 p.m., or we left Chicago at 6 p.m. Ooh, and sorry, sorry to interrupt, but Mackenzie just, just uh, chimed in, tell Brett not to get too cocky, ha ha ha, <laughs> oh, busted, oh, busted. She's on the line. Uh-oh. Yeah, All right, is. we'll have to behave. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, so we- You we are being watched. We yeah, left it, we left at 6 <laughs> uh, and we and we like arrived in London at like what eight in the morning or something like that. Yeah. And uh, got we got 
shuttled into like a really tiny uh, like area, and then we got on a bus, and then we yeah, ran. Yeah, Heathrow was surprisingly unorganized. Yeah, it was kind of uh, shitty. Like you'd you'd think that they would have figured that one out by now, but no. Nope. Yep. So uh, we we made it to Brussels. Um, we got into our hostel. It was raining when we got there. We got into our hostel, uh, and and then we sort of waited for a bit, and um, Raphael and the driver Maxi. We're going to show up. And they texted me. They're like, we're on our way. We're on our way. Um, so I've never met Raphael, uh, but I have chatted with him, like, over the phone or over Skype or whatever. Um, and so I kind of know sort of what he looks like um, because of, like, Facebook pictures. But he... So, so we're waiting. A couple hours go by. And we're still... You know, we've been awake for, like, 32 hours at this point. And, and I'm drinking, like, strong Belgian beers because oh, yeah. they're just there and they're, like, $2. Yeah. You know? Yeah, or the really, really nice one was only 5 euros. Yeah. I mean, it was like, just like... Yeah, have at it and just, like, hang out in the lobby and pound them. That would have been, like, 13-ish dollars for, you know, like... I mean, maybe. Uh, for, for, like, for I went back up to the, the room US, and tried yeah. to play and I couldn't get my guitar in tune. You remember that? No. No? <laughs> yeah. Brian had too many... Too we were many in the tune. fucking... Drunk? Drunk, tired, weird, couldn't hear... <laughs> Okay. Yeah, everyone, and everyone was like kind of passing in and out of consciousness at that point right. a little bit. So we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Finally, uh, someone shows up at the front door that looks sort of like Raphael, but he's got a blind cane, right? So I'm like, oh, it's not him. And uh, and he's talking to the front desk person, and I'm still watching. We're down like a hallway, and then he kind of like you know comes towards us, and he's like standing right next to me. It's like where Brett is, and I'm just like sitting there, and he's sort of standing. Yeah. You know? Along with this like red haired kid with this gigantic backpack on. Right. And 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 he's looking at me and I'm looking at him and, and Raphael's sort of looking off into the distance. Uh, and I'm like, uh Raphael. <laughs> and he's like, Hey man And I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're blind? <laughs> like nobody told me you were blind. <laughs> and and so that was a really awkward way to meet <laughs> Raphael for the first time and find out he was blind, which nobody told me. Nobody in Mega Colossus told me this. Um, and he didn't tell me this. It was re- it was really it was kind of weird. It was a little awkward. The so. handicap sign in the car though really helped. Yes. Um, <laughs> he so he rolled up with a giant Sprinter Mercedes Sprinter van, and it's like an uh, airport shuttle type van. Yeah, exactly. And um, and he did have a handicap sticker, which means we could we could park wherever the hell we wanted, and no one messed with us. So that was a real big plus uh, <laughs> of having Raphael around. Yes. So. Um, they checked in the hostel. We went to sleep, uh, and then the next morning we got up and went f- did did some exploring, right? Yeah. Uh, and then we played our first show in Brie, Belgium, mm-hmm. uh, at this place called Club Ragnarok. And on the way, the 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 road was closed on the way, uh, and so I whip out my trusty phone and my Google Maps, and I say, "Oh, don't worry, I'll I'll you know I'll find an alternate route," forgetting. That Google Maps was on walking mode for the directions. <laughs> so, um, took us through a cornfield, uh, and we went, we went, we eventually, you know, we eventually got there. So, um, and then yeah, you guys want to talk about about Bree? I'll take off my wings. So it's kind of funny. Um, it seemed at least where we played, it was like a. Just kind of a small, quaint little town, like a small village. So it's really funny that like we're playing at this super metal-oriented bar. Yeah. And it's the most random. Like we've played at a lot of random bars where they're like a house that's been cut up weird, and this was <laughs> like that. Except it also had like hilarious trash outside. <laughs> so we went there, and didn't they have like a giant cactus up for, out front? Uh, they had a bunch well, they had of a palm stuff. tree. Oh, sorry, a palm, palm tree. tree. My cactus. <laughs> Palms, tree, oh, some random auto parts. There's a dog. There's a dog. There's two dogs. Barking really loud. Yeah, a couple. Orin. Um, that was pretty funny. Oh, well, we made neat. um metal C flag and burn it down sign in the parking lot. Oh yeah, yeah. in the gravel parking so, lot. So so yeah, earlier that day we kind of went shopping for uh, arts and crafts supplies. We couldn't read any of the words, but we just kind of winged it. <laughs> yeah, found the, found the Belgium store. It was just called Fun. It was mostly full of kids' toys. Uh, <laughs> oh, and Maxi, like, the first thing Maxi does um, when we stop to get beer is he, like, backs into a, a giant pole in a parking lot and oh. scrapes the crap out of the side of, like, a <laughs> rental van that my credit card is on. So I'm like, um, 
Um, yeah. So while we were finding supplies, I just so happened to find, like, auto scratch remover and a buffer cloth. So I spent, like, the next, you know, I was, like, buffing the crap out of the side of it, and I got it. It I got worked it really, well. Yeah, yeah, it worked really Pat, well. Pat just put up the great joke. You know what else is a big plus? Oh, wow. The Swiss flag. Uh, hey, uh, hey oh. Has that been up there this whole time? That's been up here. The, yeah, yeah, you can look over there. <laughs> so, 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 hi, James. Cool. Thanks you, for joining us, man. If you uh, if you people wonder why we're looking up over here, it's because we have the chat uh, exploded up in gigantic uh, uh, the gigantic TV over here, so that That's the nice. guys can all Conversely, read it. Conversely, we're still on like the twelve second delay on the yeah. on the on the um, laptop, so that's always fun too. Yep. So um, we played so we played Bree uh, at this place called Club Ragnarok with High Inquisitor Woe. Yeah. and it was really cool. There was a there was a few people that came out like really far distance to, to come see us. Fucking Wesley. Yeah. Wesley was I guess the man killing it. He knew all of our lyrics. Yeah, he sang along to every song. Yeah. Um, there there is a, a younger girl who runs the Lords of the Trident fan Instagram account. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah, they her and her <laughs> father and dad, came. Yeah. To yeah. yeah. Yes. And that was <coughs> so cool. It was so long, awesome yeah, to see long them. Long conversation with them. They're very nice people. Very yeah, cool. absolutely. It was amazing. weird. That was the first time where I had like kind of like that stardom feeling it's like <laughs> sitting at the bar and then like her dad comes up to me and he was like well, you need help he helped me translate to the bartender like what i was asking for beer. and then yeah beer right <laughs> and then he was like i forget exactly what she said but he said something to the facts was like oh yeah she's telling me that like oh yeah that's the drummer right there and like it was like I'm recognizable. Like, come on, I'm sitting in the back, and so was... <laughs> well, you're certainly the most handsome. So. Well, yeah, yeah. 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 I always hit on you the most. Yep. Ooh. Sorry, Mackenzie. <laughs> but that was just a, that was just odd, especially in Europe, Tony in Iron Belgium. You have like done. oh no, some someone being mighty like, hails, Tommy. Oh, there's Cheers. the drummer. Yeah. I'm like what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Live in large, baby. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, what? Uh, I, I, for most shows, um, uh, and Inner Siege is here. Hey, everybody's here tonight. Yes. Woo. Mr. Tony Parmesan coming down into my chat room. Ooh, let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get in between those ones and zeros and find the point fives, and I'm going to shove them so far uh, down your neck that you'll be, you'll be spewing out next. binary for the next week, let me tell you, buddy. And that was the neighborhood. <laughs> Um, I gave out quite a few guitar picks in Europe, mm -hmm. and um, and the people who I gave them to were were genuinely excited about receiving them. Yeah, um, and that was really <laughs> cool. For a change of pace. <laughs> yeah, not to say that people over here. Um, here, you want this? Ew, no. Your fingers have been on it. But but there was a there was people a, were asking a, for them. Yeah, and there was a there was a. Not to say that people here don't want them, but there was a, a genuine excitement and like, a, oh my God, you're giving me that sort of vibe yeah. to it. Yeah. Um, so you just kind of ride the wave, I guess. Yeah, you know? yeah. that was neat. Uh, I thought I thought for the first night, you know, on our on our rented equipment and stuff like that, I thought we played pretty well. Yeah, um, it was generally a decent show. It was very loud. Um, at, that, at that show, we uh, sidewashed the guitar amps. So I, I was kind of... Oh. Yeah, they, it's really. I'm really not. I don't like when they do that. I'm not a big fan of that either. Fucking and I was, I was guys. kind of blasting my own head off all night. Yeah. Um, that just drives but, me crazy. It's like, hey, you're right next to a cab. Let's put it right to your side, right against your eardrum. Yeah. Well, Stop I mean, I, it. <laughs> I understand why they do it uh, because they want to try to control the sound coming out, and they want to only put it through the PA. But it is kind of annoying for guitar players. That's like, part I of the fun, that. though. Is I, I feel like you know the people right up to the stage. They're not getting the full effect of the monitors, you know, like right, the PA. Right, right. So they get more of the effect of like our cabs and whatnot. Sure. Yeah. So uh, um, Raphael uh, got a little uh, a little toasty that night, huh. and, and we ended up stealing a goblet accidentally. So sorry to the Ragnarok um, uh, club. We we <laughs> well okay one very specific. Person Raphael there. stole it, <laughs> yeah. um, and 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 he came up to me. He's like. I think I'm gonna take this goblet. I'm like Raphael. I don't think you should do it. And he's like, "Up, oh, I've already decided. <laughs> Can't go back now. Can't go back so now." That was the drunkest I saw him all to Yeah, it, for sure. When I he was, was just like, it was a little scary the <laughs> first night. Over, like, well, it started out. earlier that day. He's like, "You know, we can drink in the van, right?" We're like, "What?" Right. 
And we did have fun and then, with and that. Then, and then it was just beer. buying buying cases of beer over and over and over again. And we very quickly became the rolling drunk bus. And yeah. when you buy cases of beer... And we, we never recycled it. We only kept the bottles <laughs> yep. for our retirement later. <laughs> right. when, you res- when you buy cases <laughs> of beer in, in Belgium, it's like everything's <laughs> like 9 to 12%. And you're like, woo! So, um... <laughs> Yeah, a lot of those uh, Belgian beers that here are single bottles, like four or five ninety nine. I mean, those. Remember at the grocery store one too, it was like a you know one eighty nine euros for a single bottle and five eighty five for like a four pack. So yeah, yeah, it was so much cheaper. So that night we were supposed to stay in a, a spooky like shut down um, uh, cabin in the woods, like of it, it was like a guest house where. They sometimes let people stay, and it was described to us as, like, uh, it looks like you're going to get murdered, but you'll be fine, which is a great way to describe, you know, on the first night of being in a strange country, but turns out there was a miscommunication with the people who were going to host us, and so we ended up getting a hotel, uh, and I, I thought, actually, that hotel was, like, kind of cute. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah. yeah that was you had an egg goblet the next morning. We were we were discussing yes, like, what then, happens in an egg goblet, like how you how you use an egg goblet. Yeah, I'm too American for that. Yeah. Well, just generally speaking, then that was our first um kind of exposure to the royal European breakfast. Right. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, for you guys. I had I had a whole 4 days of it beforehand. That was and literally everywhere it went. It is the best. Oh, that I breakfast. Was sick of it, dude. What? Yeah. Oh my god, I could have that breakfast every day. It's they just like me too. meat and cheese platters, amazing croissants and like breads and everything, like good cream cheese. I made like a meat cream cheese sandwich every morning for breakfast. It was great. I yeah. don't like meat, Swiss cheese, or cream cheese. That really? Could, that could be oh. a problem. Then don't I go also hate <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Hi, Clint. I Thanks for that. joining us tonight. Yeah. And Tommy, we've got we're drinking uh, we're drinking uh, beer right now. Right now, we are currently drinking. The Orin from Half Acre uh, Beer Company, Bourbon Barrel Aged Strong Ale, and it's very, very good. Um, so yeah, uh, we got up and then we drove. So we had the day, the next day. Um, unfortunately, it was a Saturday and we had it off, uh, which was not our was not super our plans to do, but it it is what it is. Um, so we drove all the way through Germany, which we found out very quickly has only pay toilets. So like when you stop at the at the rest station, you have to pay like like fifty to you know seventy five yeah, cents yeah. to get into the pay toilet uh, <laughs> to pay to pee. But um, you get a little like voucher to spend on something in the you know fifty cents to spend on in the in the store. I, I or came whatever. I came home with two bathroom vouchers. <laughs> I got I got I a never, couple of that them, I yeah. never turned in. Yep. We also found that Europe has trees. And you can pee on them. Yeah, those are free. Yeah, those so, are free. Yeah. That was like one of Mackenzie's biggest qualms was like, yeah, you guys like took all your time, like you went and peed like in the side of the of the road and stuff. And I'm like, I gotta pee. Too bad I can't do that here. <laughs> oh, just a, I told her a van full of guys. I was impressed that she never complained, but maybe she should have for things like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, didn't. I didn't right, know it. Remember? I would. I think we would have all turned around. It's if not. She yeah, to. it's. It's not that we're doing that on purpose. It's be, it's that we're fucking stupid. Yeah, I mean, don't we're, forget that. Yeah, we're used to yes. we're used to being in a van with like all dudes, basically, and you know, Michelle's basically a dude for the most part. Right, so. and like I was in, I was in the same boat. I was like, ah, oh, everything's fine. We're just gonna go pee here. Yep. And like, yeah. But. She laughed her ass off. Yeah. Well, it's it's true. Sorry, Mackenzie. <laughs> um, so so we made it all the way down. Um, oh man, so th- this was the night. It got dark, and we got into Austria, and then, like, the Alps happened. And it was oh. like, oh, the Alps, man. Like, I mean, we're from Wisconsin. We don't see mountains. And then you see the Alps, and you're like, oh, shit. Those are legit. Like, that's a real freaking mountain there. And yeah. and then, for some reason, we, we pulled off of the interstate, and we started going, like, up into the mountains, and, like, up and down the mountains in this gigantic, you know, eight-passenger sprinter Mercedes. It, it was crazy. Um, we did that for like an hour and it was pitch black and it was probably good. It was pitch black cause we couldn't see like, there was like drops on the side of where we were avoiding were. Switzerland. <clears throat> oh, we were avoiding Switzerland. That's what it and was. We had, and we had great conversation about Ed guy and we had about how they're originally from Marburg and we had, we had good conversation about the scorpions where we talked about how everyone in Germany actually hates the scorpions. 
Um, we talked to for everyone for some reason. Yeah, yeah. every single every person. single person. They all said, they all said, "Yeah, no. I hate the scorpions. They're all terrible." <laughs> There was a more s- like fuck off like a hurricane. Yeah. That's what people, I told them. Jewish <laughs> people hate Volbeat. Maybe that's just a thing. Yeah, maybe. So Michi, we Michi, no. we we stopped. You probably don't want her to eat chocolate cake. No, 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 no. Michi, absolutely hey. no Milwaukee's beast tonight. No, no fucking way. We've never had is that, that. My is that my chocolate cake? Yeah, or is it's old just for that been shit. sitting there. I think. It's oh, yours. I think it's mine. So um, I'm the youngest one here, and I'm too old for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so we we stopped after about an hour, and we're like smelling burning us. Oh yeah, and, and it was right. the brakes. Yeah, and it was the brakes because we were going so hard, and you know, down down the thing. We finally got to Innsbruck, Austria, and that's where we, well, it was a little town outside of Innsbruck, and we were staying in this like cute freaking hotel. Oh my god, it was so Ooh. cute. It was cute af. It was cute af. <laughs> Right, and we pull in, and we haven't eaten anything all day, and we're super hungry, and so we get in, and and there, you know, he's uh, Raphael's asking the dude, he's like, hey, is the kitchen open? And the guy's like, no, I'm sorry, it's just closing now, and and we're like, oh, can we, you know, is there anything else open in town? He's like, nope, and you know, he sees the look of desperation on our face, and he basically says, look, if you guys all order the same thing, we can we can make you dinner. You know, and we're like, well, we have two vegetarians. He's like, all right, if you guys all order the same thing and the vegetarians all order the same thing, we can make you dinner. And, and like, we did it. We're like, okay. And that was one of the best dinners I had my entire, like, three-week trip. Oh, kinda, my God, I it was kinda good. I kind of wish I would have had what you got. I mean, the, the vegetarian schnitzel, thing. The schnitzel was good. You had you had spetzel. It was butter and spinach covered in butter with more butter in it, and then they drizzled butter over the top. The Austrians, <laughs> yeah. man, they don't fuck around. It's fucking mm-hmm. amazing. You had spetzel and a spinach. I think it was spetzel. It was one of the only meals I got on my camera like I that I yeah. took a, a food selfie of. But it was also yep. a really good schnitzel. It was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and yeah, I mean like that Sorry, schnitzel Yaki. with that with that dunkel, that house dunkel, it was yeah. like fucking eating like a king. Man. It was it was not highway schnitzel. It was, it was legit highway. Schnitzel. It was legit <laughs> legit <schnitzel>. highway schnitzel. <laughs> uh, yeah, and this town was gorgeous. Like, um, like, um, like imagine New Glarus, but New Glarus is like the C minus low rent version of this <laughs> yeah. little town right, right, that right, we were right. hanging out Plus in. Plus mountains. Yeah. It yeah. was, it yeah. was like if, it was like if New Glarus was actually in Austria and had mountains surrounding it everywhere. And yeah. everything was 20 yeah. times nicer. It was oh, like yeah. built into a valley. Me and Mackenzie went and like tried to find a place to get the, um, a picture of the sunset, but you found better pictures than we did. But yeah. as we were walking, <laughs> we like, you're walking down a normal like town street, then all of a sudden you come across a farm that's like <clears throat> literally part of like in the middle of the town and there's like a little barnyard and cows my parents are saying a lot of the times this cows will stop traffic because the farmers are bringing them back from the hills and like all of a sudden you're just driving along walking along and yep. cows are walking down the middle of the street yeah what are you gonna do yeah and they actually have cowbells on them out there, the Umglocken. Yeah. yeah. It's, so it's cool. like you're using this device for its exact purpose. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you hear off in the distance, just like, gloop, 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 gloop. <laughs> It's so cool. Um, so yeah, there, there, was a, there was an infrared sauna outside of our room that unfortunately I was dumb and I didn't use. <clears throat> I woke up early because, uh, you know, time zone, whatever, I couldn't figure it out. Uh, and, and I took like an hour long walk all around the town. It was so gorgeous. I got a bunch of like super sick footy <laughs> and the, the next morning was Sunday, right? So I went in, there was a church, church service. I went in the church. I took some sick footy to the church. Oh man. It was, it was like, it was the cutest day. It was like hashtag the cutest day. Hashtag Europe. Um, <laughs> hashtag highway. And we so. went, we, and then we went to this little cafe for breakfast, uh, because, Apparently the breakfast at the at the hotel was too expensive, so we went like up the street and got espresso and rolls and stuff, and that's that was my first moment when I realized I had done about three months of German on Duolingo to try to at least mildly prepare for this trip, and at that point I was like, yeah, I don't know a fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna I, 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 donut, please. <laughs> Dumb bread. American, yeah. bread, coffee. <laughs> And I'm sorry you didn't like the coffee over there, Brent, but that was, like, also one of the best things. <laughs> I will say, you're like, your morning ex- yeah, your morning experience, just, like, no, I'm so sorry because it's so great. Their breakfast is good and their coffee is I like their espresso. I just like coffee better. Yeah, yeah the espresso yeah. is really nice. To me, that is Europe. 
Yeah. But man, I love the coffee I make at home too. Yeah. When I first yeah. drank coffee at home, I was like, I can't tell if I should be thinking about feels like the first time by Foreigner or <laughs> I want to know what love is by Foreigner. I was like kind of debating between the two. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I went with both. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then we drove the all next day. Yeah. We drove all day from in just outside of Innsbruck, Austria, down to uh, Milan in Italy. Mm-hmm. And in Italy, it was a good, uh, you know. Um, <laughs> the so the funny thing all is stereotypes confirmed. Yeah. Okay. I, I I have I've done that accent, you know. And Aki's like, ah ha ha, you know, you're just doing a funny like exaggerated Italian accent. And then we get there, and they're like, "Hey, what are you doing?" You know, and Aki's like looking at me, sort of in shock. Like, wait a minute, that was that was real. We ha- we found some new fans in Milan until they watched this podcast. <laughs> sorry, and sorry. Now they're angry, and they don't want anything to do. Well, yeah. To be fair, he did do that accent in the middle of the show too. So. I did, I did, yeah. So I, I think I think I've gained their trust. I did sing opera at the start of the show. They liked it. Tore up the mic, and they were all like, "Ah." You know, so. <laughs> they're, they're very animated. They're all very friendly. Yeah, they're very friendly. we we mm. went into like downtown downtown Milan to like look at the sights, and Maxi was like, "I fucking hate driving in Milan. I hate the city. I just want to be out of here. Everything sucks." <laughs> and we're trying to find a place, you know, in downtown Milan to like park this gigantic van. And we go into a park, and we find a parking space, and he pulls into it, and, like... Crunch. And, and the, uh, he doesn't realize that, like, you know, there's there's pavement and there's dirt, and he pulls in, and then it goes... <laughs> and the whole back end's like... <laughs> and like, no, 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 I just buffed out the fucking scratches. Why, why are you gonna do that, Maxie? Why? Um, yeah, and Brett, uh, Brett pulled out, um, yeah, mm. <laughs> uh, afterwards. So, uh... And we went for a short walk, saw some fun stuff. Yeah, we saw I we got, saw the dome. I got accosted Duomo. by the Italian Algerians. Me yeah. too. Yeah. Me too. The second time. I don't know how you did. Well, so the first time when Brian got stopped, they like literally put the bracelet on my shoulder and I kept walking. I was like, all right, we're fine. And then he like comes and like grabs me again. And then when we were by the Duomo, one of them came up to me and like started literally grabbed my wrist and started putting it on. He's like, free, free, free. And then oh, Mackenzie was like, "No, <laughs> get off him!" Yeah, I saw her doing that. She's like, "No, they say free." No. And then, yeah, I'm and sure then demand and money. then demand money, and not just coins. They want paper. Right. That's what I found out the hard way, and yep. that pissed me right off. And I, and I was, yeah, like, I was across, you know, like Brian, run, run, Brian, get out of there, run, run. Because this guy, this guy, like, like uh. to, this guy, like, tied a bracelet around me, and then four more of them, like, surrounded me, and they were demanding money. Brian was more bracelet than man after they were done with it. <laughs> Thanks, Pat, for catching that. I was about to say something, too. Yep. I was like, so, should have yeah, just left I mean, it and Brett pulled out. I, and, I, and, I've, and I've been to Italy before, and I felt stupid for not paying attention. Like, you just, in that environment, you need to be vigilant. Because they will do that to you if you're not paying attention. And you need to also watch out for pickpockets. Yeah. Where your shit will get taken if you're not paying attention. And I've, I just felt like a dummy for, you know... I guess still being jet lagged and tired and just kind of dopey and not paying attention, and they they obviously saw that. Yeah. So you know. Well, we got we got out of know. there alive. Fool Everybody... me once, shame on you. <laughs> fool me twice, you can't get fooled again. You're not gonna fool me again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that quote. Um, we uh, <laughs> you can we, fool me again. <laughs> we, we got some uh, we got some pizza. Aki, yeah. you want to talk about pizza? Because since you're the pizza guy. <laughs> We wanted to try uh, pizza in Italy, and although we weren't in like uh, an area that was mu- as much of like a you know big pizza pizza culture like Naples or whatnot, we did get pizza around the um, the main like mm-hmm. touristy kind of square uh, in the, the center of the city, and uh, I think we all agreed you know it was good. It tasted actually fairly similar to Neapolitan pizza that we get here in Madison. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was tasty and whatnot. Um, I split, I split one with him. Yeah. Uh, it was was a little, it was, it was, flavor was good. It was a little soupy. Yeah. But, but it was good. I think overall it was just interesting. Um, it wasn't bad necessarily and I, like, but a couple observations, like A, Italy really felt significantly different than driving through like Austria or Germany. I mean, it really felt like. A completely separate area than you know regular Western Europe and whatnot, and yeah. 
Um, I think B, just uh, Milan itself, I don't think any of us were like huge fans. It wasn't bad, but uh, it was just the streets were very tight. And I'm sure, you know, part of it's, you know, it's an old city and whatnot, but just uh, the streets and driving, like it was, it was very tight. And it was just uh, definitely a bit dirtier than like a lot of like the more modern German cities and whatnot, which, you know, I understand, you know, Marshall Plan after World War Two, a lot of them were rebuilt and whatnot, but yeah, it just it was interesting. Italy felt completely different than the other areas we were in during the tour. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was definitely definitely warmer and, and like less rain than the other places. Yeah, it was, we were it was a solid ten degrees, <clears throat> ten degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, warmer. Yeah, than, uh, yeah. Than than the rest of our trip for yeah. sure. So after we'd get done sightseeing, uh, uh, we we get, we get to the to the venue. Which we have such we had such a, a hard time finding. It ended up being like in a in a in a mall in the basement in the, in the basement of a mall. Of a mall. <laughs> it was um, like a strip mall. It was of. called the One. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so we we pull up and we finally figure out how to get there. And there's this other <laughs> there's this other club, and you can see it in the Trident uh, tour updates on on the on the YouTube page. There's this other club that is just like blasting like house music, <laughs> you know, and just people are just dancing and. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, mm, 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 you know, and literally just like that. Fettuccine, fettuccine, mm, mm, mm. linguine. <laughs> and so we get down. We're so dumb. <laughs> uh, my apologies to all the Italians, but uh, <laughs> we get down. And actually, like this, this night was one of the one of the most packed nights on the tour. We played with Wotan, uh, who apparently don't play all that often. Um, but this, you know, this was one of their. Um, like kind of rare appearances and a lot of people came out to support them they were really cool they were really good they had a lot of um they had like a stage show they had armor and all that sort of stuff it was really neat it was, it was a little thorish it was a little thorish you're right yeah yeah, yeah. And then we had drake car yeah drakar was next and i really really like drakar <laughs> yeah those they were guys. the best bands we played with during the tour yeah they were really 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 good um and then, yes, and, there's more Thai beatboxing coming up. We promise. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we we brought over a few um, in ear, like monitor things, and um, I think the 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 translation the the language barrier was the, the at the most was was the most um, difficult in Milan. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we were trying to get those to work. I didn't have any, you know, by the end of the night, I didn't have anything in my monitors. Um, Aki didn't have barely anything in his. Um, before we got on stage, Brett didn't have anything at all in his. We didn't have any tracks. We didn't have any clicks. We didn't have anything. Good and, evening, Peter. Thanks for joining us. Yep. And, uh, and like, ten, ten seconds before we were about to go out on stage... <laughs> I'll never forget the like the guy the the sound guy pops in and he looks at Brett. He's like, I think I have a fix to your monitors. It might be a very loud, so uh, you me you need to tell me if it is a too loud in your ears, and I will turn it down because right now everything is at a ten, so it is it might be very very loud for you, you know. And and so we go out, we play the whole show. I can't hear anything. Um, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I heard I heard like nothing. I was doing everything from muscle memory. Um, and then after the show, Brett comes out and he's like, I had a perfect mix. Uh, <laughs> I don't fucking know. I mean, I didn't, we didn't have clicker tracks, but like, I could hear all the instruments. I could hear all so, my drums. Yeah. It's like, I mean, yeah. he fixed it. So somehow. yeah, we, we had, so we had, um, we had no tracks, which means no we couldn't figure. play cross the line, which was in our set. And then we mm. couldn't do Figaro, which I don't think we were going to that night anyway. Yeah. Um, but I, would, uh, I, would I mean, have. I with... Know. With all that in mind, though, with no, you know, none of what we were used to, overall, I think we did a really nice job at that show. Yeah. And, um, it was and a for, Sunday night, and, you know? uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And for a Sunday night, um, we had a really nice turnout. Um, yeah, we did. You know, we, I think we've been spoiled with Sunday night shows, um, the last couple out we've had, even going all the way back to Marty Friedman, of just having really awesome Sunday shows. And this one, uh, this one, uh, you know, uh, followed course. Yeah, and yeah. we met uh, one of our uh, one of our super fans there. I, her name is Chiara. Chiara. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And and her and her boyfriend came out, and that was awesome. And it was very nice to meet you too. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it it ended up being a pretty good night. 
I, I thought I thought Milan was really really fun. It yeah. was it was a bit unorthodox. You know, like the the, the place was a little weird. That but man, the crowd came out and just really supported. It was so good. Um, yeah. So um, and we ended <laughs> we ended up staying in this like five star hotel. The shower is so nice. <laughs> With yeah, and it had a bidet. And we oh, stayed there for that. all of three hours. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and it was like, yeah. if there was one place, if there was one hotel that I would have stayed longer, yep. it would have been um, that one. And we yeah. just couldn't do it. We just no. couldn't. It had the rain type of shower where it's like right directly. Oh, it was so you. great. Yeah. Hey, Camden. And then also a cheesy cyclist. How big was the crowd? In Milan, I'd say... Is it like 50? 50? 50? Yeah, I would say 50. You know, 50 or but, 60, but I mean, for a Sunday night, that's great. Yeah, and crammed I mean, into like a, a strip mall basement, like, it was really crowded in there. I mean, you know, I was jumping out in the crowd, and it was like... Well, for a room that's not all that much bigger than your practice yeah. space. Right. The, yeah. I mean, this this uh, venue is literally two rooms. You know, it was one room with a bar, and then it was a, the room with the stage, and mm-hmm. like a side alcove did to change. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, Camden's in the uh, in the in the chat. Hey everybody if, in the chat! If you haven't checked out uh, Seven Kingdoms, they just dropped Empty Eyes, uh, which we we kickstarted kickstart backed, and they have a really awesome music video. So go check that out. Um, it's super cool. Uh, How terrible is that T Iron guy? <laughs> oh yeah. So the the venue. Oh no! Oh, no. The, the venue is smaller bigger. than the milestone. Yeah, yeah milestone's, milestone's bigger. bigger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. So, okay, so then, then we woke up the next day, and from Milan, we had to get to Vienna, Austria, where we were playing with a burlesque troupe called uh, uh, Cabernet, Cabernet Curiosa. Curiosa. Yep. <clears throat> so that was another eight-hour drive, and we got to see the Alps again, and it was amazing. Um, this time, we didn't have to like go actually up into the mountains to avoid Switzerland, which was good. Um, and we made it, and... Um, we met we, Sophie and yep, Tomas. Sophie and Tomas, who are just the most amazing, amazing Sweetest people. Yeah, they were great hosts. They were so cool. Um, <laughs> we got there and we, we were staying in their like um, their like condo, and they made us um, this amazing right. stew, like like um, stew with um, pumpkin and mushrooms, mushrooms. And, well, and the noodles, um, uh, spaten or sp- so that, spate, that's spate, 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 Not what you had. Spatzel. That's not spatzel. Spaten. The noodles we had was spatzel. Spatzel. It was a spatzel. I'll remember what you had at some point, but spritzel. the noodles we had were spatzel. Yep, got it. But and then <laughs> so he gave us, he gave us, they like give us a warning that it might be a little bit spicy. And then, but they're like, for anyone who wants some more spice, here's this hot paprika. And then here's some sour <laughs> and cream. And Brent had like half the bar, some half the jar of it. Cool down. So yeah, Brent takes like, he's like, oh, I like spicy. He takes a spoonful. Of, no, like, no, he's no, 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 no. Or is it? You're supposed to like lightly spoon it in, but then I was like doing this. I'm like, it's not coming <laughs> yeah. out. And then like, like so like a bunch falls the in. So then I'm like, oh, I like spicy a little bit. So I follow suit, take a spoonful put it in and then Brent starts and he's like oh this was a bad idea it hurts so good and then I was like fuck this was a bad idea just a spoon full but of paprika helps the I beer like it was spicy to... but it was really good it was super, it was good. super good I wish I didn't ruin it but it was still really good <laughs> yo Dr. Thunder no it's Lexi that's, Lexi. A, that's a soda yo, Lexi, Lexi is Dr. Thunder oh I didn't know that yep uh, oh shit! Or I probably uh, knew that, but you missed the uh, hi there the clouds of fog coming out of the. Uh, yeah, we need to get some more dry ice. ice. Sir, I, I can go get some dr- more dry ice. If I we mean, need the dry more ice fun. seems intact. I, for whatever reason, it always does this where it stops. It yeah, like inert. Um, so uh, we got there. We got to ah, Vienna. I was just let's, empty. Let's open up some Goose Island. So this is another get empty. Another one <laughs> from our Chicago. People, the Clark and it's Sheffield tomorrow. Selection Burble Bear, uh, Burble Bear, Burble Bear. Burble <laughs> Bourbon Barrel Aged Burble. Old Ale. Burble 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 Everything tastes mild compared to this beer. Right. Yep. The, 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 seriously, that beer is like... Oh, the like, Drago? That yeah, beer is like, is like a shot of whiskey and a beer in every fucking... It's amazing. Come on, you pansies. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just calling it the way it is. So I we drank a warm one of these before we fucking played on Saturday. It was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, look what you did, you little jerk. So we. So we got there. It was us and 
Uh, it was us and the uh, cabaret, and uh, like I got to be honest, the cabaret curiosa was the best burlesque show I think I've ever seen. Um, and now, granted, I've only seen three burlesque shows in my life, but theirs was absolutely the best. Um, they there was <clears throat> uh, Sophie did this thing with like light up fans, which was super cool. The second person. Wait, she danced to Camelot. Oh yeah, she danced to Camelot. Camelot. March what of is this? Mephisto, which I am now obsessed with. This. Yeah. Brad's like, what is this? And like, Camelot, my favorite album. We're listening to it in the car. Yeah. And we did. Oh my oh, God, Johnny oh, Earls. Fuck. Oh, I have shit. to go to Johnny. Thank you so much for yes. the super chat. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got a drink to Johnny. Thank you, Good thank night, you, thank Johnny. you. You guys, you Stick are awesome. We'll have to, well. And we'll have to come down to Tennessee sometime. Yes, and, we'd love to see you. you. Thank so. you, thank you, thank you. Cheers. Oh. Did we give that stipulation beforehand? If anyone gives us money, we'll, well it's on the screen. I mean, oh. It says drinking. make us drink, send us a super chat. So, oh, got it. We so are drinking sh- constantly. Thank you, thank That's you. <laughs> but, but you can make us drink. You could force us to drink. We might say, "I'm done for the night," and then you send in a super chat, and people are like, "Oh no, we're gonna drink more." <gasps> I'm, getting, I'm getting picked up tonight. It's fine. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. <laughs> All right. So good night, Johnny. Good night, Johnny. Tuning thank in. you. Um, yeah, we were in Vienna, uh, and and we and the. Okay, so yeah, everything. Everything was Camden, great. Everything makes it better. Yep. Uh yeah. Um, the burlesque show was amazing, and then we played, and then Brian <sighs> got concussed. Tell him about it, Brian. Um, it was it was another show where we were side side washing the amps, and I think that actually has um, a lot to totally do with the positioning we ended up in. It was during Burn It Down. So third song in so we played death dealer zero hour third song with burn it down we and confirmed that was when the yes. incident happened so yeah. i i i think i i i went down not like that but you know uh i i came forward with my head and just as brent was whipping his bass back and i yeah took a took a bass headstock right upside the head yep and um and yeah i i, I the rest of the gig was kind of hazy Kind of fuzzy. You kind of just As, stood in the corner, uncharacteristically, yeah, I, but understandably. Because yes. I was like, because I'm trying, I'm like, oh shit, I got all these hard parts to play, and my fucking brain is kind of like mildly short circuiting, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm doing. I what do really I get bad. for fifty bucks? A shot of whiskey. Uh, fifty for fifty bucks, I will go put on the Chicago underwear, and I will wear them for the rest of the of the podcast. <laughs> With pants on? No, oh. no, without pants on. Please don't um, give us fifty. dollars Please don't give us fifty dollars. Um, so it, I mean, it was a Monday night, um, and my it, base was okay. Yes, by the way. Yes, the base, the base survived. Yeah. yeah. Um, Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Um, in, injuries aside, um, I feel like uh, you know it was it it was there weren't a million people there because it was only a Monday night, but I mean. Injuries aside, I think it was still still a decent outing, and mm-hmm. I would love, love, love to do something with Sophie or Cabin, uh, Cabaret Curiosa again in the future. Absolutely, absolutely, such hands a down. Great yes. night with those guys afterwards. I yeah, know, and I know you. It did, and it's hated. Everybody. Well, it ma- it made me sad because <clears throat> I'm like I and I could feel, I, I I began to feel myself getting sick as sick as well. So like <clears throat> I, I but I'm like I'm feeling awful. You know, and I'm 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 all like blurry headed. I'm like, I actually wanted to like drink and party tonight. Now I can't. Yeah, yeah. And so that like that like extra bummed me out. But well, I sat um, with him and they like made us. They had absinthe, so we tried absinthe, and he like made that absinthe martini. Yeah, which was super good. Absinthe by itself, terrible. But <laughs> we learned that in Prague. Well, absinthe by and itself. Who are you calling you, a pansy? If yeah. you don't, if you don't. Hey, I still took a shot of it straight from the bottle, and it was. Not good. But okay. Uh, yes, if we make fifty dollars total on this stream, I will go put on the Chicago boxers. Maybe How about that? Just in case we should drink whiskey too, if that happens. Okay. If if we get fifty dollars total on the stream, <laughs> I will put on the Chicago, Chicago boxers and we'll drink the rest of the whiskey in that bottle, which is probably like five shots. So it'll oh, be boy. enough for okay. all. Okay. We've got to be clear. Yeah. Does that include the ten we've already got, or from here on out? I think from here on out, right? So from here on out, if if the total of the what super chats make. Uh, 
fifty dollars, then I'll you're put gonna on, see you're gonna, you're see, gonna see Ty revisit shit. the the double tiger. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. And you have the choice of the Chicago or the piggy. Yeah, you could do piggy or Chicago. I I know what piggy. people are gonna say. They're gonna say sh- they're gonna say piggy. Piggy, piggy. Or Chicago. They're gonna say piggy. Yep. Oh, oh no. Shit. Oh, Andrew right. Smith, nineteen ninety nine. Well, we gotta we gotta drink well, to that. Thank you. Cheers. Yes. All right. Fine. Thank you. Why would you do this? Why? 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 Oh God! Why? Well, uh, thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in, and um, let the chaos ensue. I mean, yeah, what yeah. The fuck can you we'll say? see. We'll see what happens. I mean, let's make it really spooky. Let's yeah, let's, yeah, let's make it really spooky on the spooky cast. Okay. So, um, yeah. So Vienna was awesome. Sophie and the Cabernet. Uh, got, yes, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We we all get we all get the money. Um, oh, it goes boy. directly to us. So, oh Tommy, yeah, Lord of the, Lord of the Rings gets the money. That's, 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 that's we, we're gonna send it straight to uh, we're gonna send it straight to the estate of, uh, of all Jackson the, or whatever. All proceeds go to the fellowship. <laughs> yeah, this is, this, this is the fellowship right here. Uh, so anyway, there goes the neighborhood. I said. Yeah, as soon as Tommy joined. Yeah, yeah I saw Tommy join. And it was like, uh oh. Um, all right. Oh, there you go. <coughs> oh, no, Peter, no. Can't oh, yes. Him. Thank you, Peter. Hey, drinks. Cheers to Peter. Hey, there we go. I'm dying. <laughs> we, we should do this every time. Hail like, Satan. Strip, strip Lords of the Trident. Right, I feel like there's like a voyeuristic, voyeuristic angle of this. I feel like if you're a camp <laughs> girls, it'd be like, who wants to skin to a naughty pillow fight? Yeah. Who raised $50 yeah. in, the, in the next half hour? <laughs> who, wants, who wants Brittany to take off her bra? Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so more and more or less that's same. that's good math. From Dr. Thunder from Vienna, uh, we proceeded. <laughs> so we took our time getting up uh, in like <laughs> whatever it takes, boys. <laughs> we we took our time. We took our time getting up. Uh, we we had some breakfast with Sophie and and the crew, and we just sort of like and Tomas and and we and we're like, oh, you know, we're, we'll get there when we get there because we had a day off in Prague, um, and on the way to Prague. We were planning on going to the Bone Church, and if you don't know mm. what the Bone Church is, it is an ossuary that uh, essentially, like in the Middle Ages, a Ugh. bunch of crusaders brought back dirt from the Holy Land, and they dumped it on this hill, and on the hill they built a church, and everybody, <coughs> everybody wanted to be buried in Holy Land dirt, so the cemetery was like super, super popular, and it was so popular that it filled up really quick, so. What they would do is once the, you know, once the people were decomposed, uh, they would take them out and they would put their bones inside the, like the basement of the church, um, and so that happened over and over and over and over and over again, and there was suddenly you know, not enough room in the basement of the church, so they started building like parts of the church. Oh my God! Ten dollars from Tommy. Sure, it's off. Oh, Tommy, 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 Tommy. <laughs> Uh, I'll say Hales. 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 Tommy, you're the best. We love you, Tommy. Except for Rapid Fire Fest. (laughs) (laughs) I've never been, actually. I'm sure it's really awesome. Hail, Tommy. (laughs) I hope I can make it, I hope I can make it to uh, to, uh, Rapid Fire Fest one of these years. Um, that, you know, would be super cool. Everybody go check out Rapid Fire Fest. Tommy's got an amazing, amazing, amazing fest Tommy's um, the man. Tommy is the man. He really is. Um, we love Tommy. So, and Albus. <clears throat> oh my God, Albus is the best cat. You know, uh, <laughs> I love Michi, but Albus, Albus is also pretty sweet. Um, so anyway, with the trash. With dog. the trash. Dog. Yeah, <laughs> fight me, Ira. Good, good one, Brent. <laughs> um, okay, so we we get to we go through the Czech Republic. We get to the Bone Church at like four forty five. <clears throat> And it's raining, and we and we get out of the bone church, and or we get out of the, of the car, and we go into the bone church. Oh, you need a ticket to get into the bone church. Okay, no worries. We walk over to the ticket office. Just as we're walking over to the ticket office, the the, the lady like, brrr, like closes the ticket door. I'm like, wait, 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 and she's like, closes at five. <laughs> Last ticket at four forty five. And we look at our our things, and it's like. It's 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 four forty six. We're like no, so we go back down into the into the bone church and we're trying to explain to this dude who's taking tickets. We're like, look, dude, like we came all the way from America. We drove like five hours to get here. Can we please? We're in a metal band. We're in a metal band. Means to us. Yeah. Can we just like go in there for five freaking minutes? Can we please just go in there for five minutes? And he's like, it is impossible. <laughs> so we get outside and now it's really starting to rain. 
And he's like, you can go upstairs into the upstairs church. I'm like, okay, sweet. There's there's bones upstairs. There's no, no bones. bones. Zero bones upstairs. It's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so. <That's> horribly <coughs> uncomfortable. Oh, nice. Yeah, very good. <laughs> so zero bones upstairs. Um, and, and, you know, I, oh no. There it is. Oh my God. Two, Lexi. Two All two right. Cents over. Leet. So you guys, you guys finish the story of what happened. Well, I'll, I'll finish the story and then you can continue and then I'll go put the boxes on and get the, get, get. but first let's drink to Lexi. To Lexi. To Lexi. What does the message mean? Duh bears. Duh bears. Without anything um, negative afterwards. No. Duh bears. Oh, no. Are a wonderful rival. Without anything negative. <laughs> yep. Without anything neg- negative. Zip it. <laughs> okay. So it's starting to rain, and I am bound and fucking determined to get into this bone church. I don't. I don't give two craps. Right. So I. I oh no. <laughs> Ew. 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 <laughs> It's warm in here. It's getting, it's getting weird. Getting um, weird, guys. And you got to flex for Tommy now. Flex. Ah, there you go, Tommy. <laughs> ah. Okay. So so I have just so happened to have a red raincoat on, and I see a number of people like in the entryway that are leaving like a tour group that are putting on the raincoats. So I put on my raincoat, and I duck into the crowd, and I make it all the way through, and, and I run down to the Bone Church, and I'm like, and I'm filming, and I'm filming, and I'm, I'm running around, and I'm in there for about 60 seconds, and then, boom, the lights go out. I'm like, oh, okay, time to go. So I um, run back up, I duck into another group, and, uh, and I get in and out of the Bone Church unscathed, or so I think, because since I got into the Bone Church without paying, I was unfortunately cursed by an ancient medieval curse and the next morning we all woke up totally sick and dead um it's the bone church's fault uh and no one else's except for me i was fine yeah 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 i think i know who patient zero is but you know just you know i don't know well i was sick from the get-go and yeah brett's the only one i didn't get sick yep yeah. all right the first one chat yeah, well was he was like he was sick, but he, sick like a week before that he was you were sick like two weeks before you're, you're always right. sick Huh? Yeah. Did you make Brian say? I don't think so. All right, chat. I'm gonna let okay. you decide this. Uh, are we gonna do the Chicago boxers or the pig boxers? Chicago boxers or the pig boxers? Which one do you want me to wear for the rest of the podcast? Uh, let me know in the chat, uh, and and we'll 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 decide <laughs> how many people say Chicago, how many people say pig, and we'll figure that one out. So they're the both on both. They're the same on both sides. Uh, I just want to say two. Tommy on one votes order. pig. Yeah. When we were on our Dr. way Thunder to the bone says Chicago. Church. When we were on our way to the bone church. Uh, Ty, like your banter was like yeah, the best even. of the whole tour. Oh, yeah. one more. oh my god. Mm. Yeah, we were talking about Ty's how... impression of the dirt farmers is yeah. so good. Yeah. Everyone in Czech Republic is uh, <laughs> is either dirt farmer. Oh man. Okay. Uh, two for let's see. Okay. They're We're all above. for pig except for uh, oh, no. oh, Lexi. There's, there's two people. Okay, I think Chicago's and there's four. Uh, Everyone guys, else wants pig. There's I think the pig is gonna win. So uh, Ooh, I'm Erica go. is a newcomer. So guys, I'm gonna have to go put on the pig boxers, uh, and I will be right back with the whiskey for all of us to drink. Uh, why don't you guys pick up the story in Prague uh, from there, and I will be back in a jiffy. <coughs> Prague. So uh, we got into Prague, and it's a very cool city. It's uh, has a great historical quality to it, Simone. and we're actually uh, we actually meet a friend <coughs> there. Uh, it's this girl and her and her mom. Yeah, we got dinner. Yeah, we got dinner, and she took a bus right? or ja- train. <coughs> Jana, like two hours. Jana, Yana, Yana. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I think that's where <coughs> Jana and, and um, boy, it's really true what they said. Like you everything the right. there was very very cheap. Yeah. It was crazy how cheap, like, not just alcohol was, but, like, <laughs> our dinner and everything. And everything was very nice. Yeah. And this actually brings me to, actually, something that Brett and, Brett, uh, sorry, Brett and I observed, <laughs> and that is, uh, boy, there's so few veggies when you're in Europe. <laughs> like, I yeah. never thought I'd say this, but I feel like there was, like, more stuff that was fried than I noticed in the U.S. Like, in French fries, or, ro- or fries, sorry, just frites or fries. We're so popular. Like, you and I joked mm. that we didn't see a single broccoli crown, like, the whole time we were <laughs> in didn't. Europe. I didn't. I didn't. And now I know what, like, one of my fellow co- co-workers that's vegan said, like, how, how hard it was when they and their wife went to France. And now, like, there are very few veggie options. Mm. But Prague was very really cool. <laughs> so we got, uh, we got food with them. And then we actually wandered around Prague. 
uh, in the middle of the night. And it is a hopping city. It's really cool. It's uh, it's actually full of lots of, like, tourists. And there's people from mm. around the world. Like, I could see there are lots of people from East Asia and the United States and whatnot. Mm. And uh, we actually, uh, for example, saw a really cool uh, old clock, for example. The astrological yeah, clock. Yeah, the astrological clock. And, um, Which has a creepy story behind it yeah well which is false. we don't know it's right false? exactly yes. it's it's oh, there's no confirmation that technically Internet. that's true oh, okay uh, <laughs> but nonetheless it's in it's interesting like we saw the clock around 11 p.m and there were big crowds so, i mean <laughs> yeah. it's just uh to watch the automation yeah yeah it was like a tuesday night and it was oh, <laughs> it was super <laughs> hopping <laughs> 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 Um yes, Lexi. <coughs> Sorry. Um I'm I'm dead now. <coughs> we got and, and sorry, here's the whiskey that we got uh the, oh, the rest of the whiskey. We'll get drunk whiskey, and drink yeah. whiskey together. <laughs> Alright, we'll give They're everybody a little pour. Put, like, clever, uh <laughs> Clever little balls. poems yes. on a lot of these things. <sighs> Erica, if this is your first podcast, you, We're picked, sorry. The, you picked a wonderful one to, <laughs> to join us. Yeah. Yeah, welcome. Spooky cast is the best. Is this like the third <laughs> spooky cast we've done? <laughs> this is, I think this is, wow. is this the third or the fourth this spooky cast? This might be third. I think this is the I third spooky cast. Um, oh, and I do the impression well, of this the, is, uh, so this is my third spooky cast and you guys did one before me. Oh yeah. Maybe this really? is the fourth one. Oh, wow. About what, what that, those guys said in, when we're in check, uh, we're in Prague at <coughs> at night. Something, I slept through this. Weird. I missed oh, this. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So, so we're we were walking, Prague and, yeah. we, we were walking through Prague and there were some people trying to solicit people to go to a strip club and he's like, Hey, you want to see some boobies? I know a city, pl- I know a silly place. <laughs> hey man, you want to see some boobies? Come, I know a silly place. Yep, it was great. Yeah. I'd love to see one of those like neon signs that says I like think... silly boobs. Yeah, silly boobs. I, th- I, th- silly I feel like boobies. he was probably referring to your commentary of the countryside when mm. we were driving through the Czech Republic. Maybe. Uh, oh, Aki was. Oh, Aki. Yeah, yeah. But not, but not silly place the, guy. You're talking about yeah. the dirt farmers. Oh no, no, yeah. I was talking about this, the, the his impression of the silly place thing. Oh, oh okay. And Ty, mm-hmm. talk about your. Uh, your, your souvenir that you brought back from Prague. Oh, yeah. So, um, <coughs> Brian, are you dead? <coughs> Working you on dead, it. You did, man. So, uh, I saw, yeah, the ancient curse continues. I saw, I, I was walking along. So, so Prague is like one of those places that I would go to again. Super, oh, yeah. super cheap, amazing, like castle city, and like, you know, a bunch of really like terrible and hilarious, uh, souvenir shops and all that sort of mm-hmm. stuff. Um, I saw a souvenir shop that had, a bunch of, um, it had a bunch of magnets that were skeletons smoking weed, um, and one of them, and so I bought two of them because uh, I'm, m- me and my neighbor are a big fan of uh, Dumb Motherfucking Share Zone, which if you haven't seen that on Facebook, go check out Dumb Motherfucking Share Zone. That's the skeleton. Um, that's the skeleton thing, and so I bought these two um, <laughs> skeleton smoking weed magnets. <laughs> And I didn't realize until I got back to the uh, the place we were staying. Uh, one of them said, uh, "One of them said Prague on the top of it," and I was like, oh, "I'll keep that one for me." And the other one said, "Prague, Czech Republic." Republic. Republic. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, spelled rather wrong, but he loved it. Oh my god, he thought it was great. So, too many shirts. Um. On. So, uh, <clears throat> oh. Le- Lexi, um, yes, have you had any? I, I did yeah. purchase a oh. different iBus. That's okay, I'll take the remainder. <laughs> oh. um, my buddy Joe, who lives up in this Egan in done. the Twin I Cities, know. got it's it for nice. me. It's okay. And I'll I went up the, and I'll picked it up from him. I don't remember the exact model number. I can send that to no. you. Um, <clears throat> but I used it for Europe because it is um, not a Floyd Rose. So I was able to travel with one guitar and change tunings. Uh, as necessary. Um, mm-hmm. So, yes. I actually played that guitar. I suppose I could go get it real quick. If you want. Um, yeah. yeah uh, I actually played that guitar in rehearsal tonight because it's uh, easier than dragging two guitars down here and back. Um, so, I said mm-hmm. I said that Prague was cheap. Uh, and when I when I said that, I meant it. We stayed in a... Deal. You've got it. <laughs> we stayed, sorry, we sorry stayed in, an, in like an entire floor of a apartment that w- that had 12 beds i think hey kelly something like that good evening we paid uh 86 dollars 
uh, for for all of us to stay in this like you know amazing, huge, gigantic apartment complex. Really high ceilings. I mean, probably mm-hmm. could fit like thirteen people or something. Yeah. Well, you yeah. could. I mean, if you didn't if you didn't have everyone sleep in a ble- in a bed, you could probably have fit thirty. Oh yeah. In a bed. Oh yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You know? <coughs> So oh, our, our, got the room our, that had five beds because yep. Brett snores. Yep. Our, our, uh, our, our <laughs> bung- <laughs> a bungalow in Prague. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I would, I would definitely go back to Prague. Oh, and we meet, uh, we met, uh, Yana and her mom. Uh, uh, we were going to play in Prague. We didn't have a show scheduled, unfortunately. Um, but we told, uh, one of our Patreon backers, Yana, who maybe, maybe is watching this right now. Uh, that we would love to come and get dinner with her, and she brought her mom, and we went to this... Probably not, because it's five in the morning there, but... Oh, yeah, okay, maybe Tom not. said he'd be on, but I haven't seen him yet. Well, maybe. Yeah. Um, it is five in the morning there. That's kind of rough. We got, uh, yeah, we so... got a bunch of got a bunch of beers, and got a, got some good uh, uh, Czech Republic food, and that was good. Yeah, it was really good. So... You know, Prague is, Prague is awesome. That was our, uh, like, number one city to go back to. Yeah. Oh, so we woke up super neat. So we woke up in the morning, then from Prague. So from Prague we were supposed to drive to Hamburg, and now hmm. we're all under the curse, except for Brett, uh, of the uh, of the ossuary. So I woke up sick. Everybody's sick. Everybody's coughing. <coughs> and now I don't know if I have. And Brian's still. coughing. I'm still coughing. I'm. You know. I, I, it's been. We've been home for two weeks, and I haven't kicked no, I this yet. You, actually, yeah. fucking. I'm fucking tired of it. Yeah, yeah. I am pretty mm. pretty much too. Um, <laughs> yes. People brought people uh, gave me a bunch of money and I took my pants off. It's it's pretty great. Um, so uh, yeah, so we were it was supposed to be a five hour drive from Prague <laughs> to Hamburg, uh, and it turns out that the entire country of the Czech Republic is under construction, and that is not mm. hyperbole. If you bring up a map of the Czech Republic, like public, pu- pu- sorry, Czech pu- public. Literally, the entire country is under public. <laughs> under construction. Apparently, the EU was like, "Yo, dog, you got to fix your roads." And they're like, "We will fix all roads Tom! all at once." Ah, uh, oh, there he is. Uh, There's Tom. Hey. Hey. There we go. Cheers to Tom. Here. He uh, gave us uh, a squi- squiggly E. We're getting to the Tom part of the story. <laughs> yeah, we're get- we're almost at the Tom almost part. There. Oh man. Good morning, Tom. Hey, Tom. Good morning, sir. Uh, just to catch you up to speed, a bunch of people gave me um, uh, money to to take my pants off. So here here you go. Uh, da, 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 da. And, and I and I took my shirt off because it's hot in here. So, yeah. Somebody gave us these bo- uh, somebody gave us these boxers. So he knows. There's Tom. He knows the story. <laughs> All right, he sure does. <laughs> <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> For those of you that don't Wrecked. know, it, a, a plus, a plus. For those of you that don't know Tom, we'll get to him and his, yeah. his amazingness in a in a few minutes. Oh here. my god. So wrecked. It should, okay. So, so it should have from Prague to Hamburg. It should have taken us five hours. It took us ten. It took us 10 fucking hours to get to from Prague to Hamburg because the entirety of the country of Czech Republic was under construction. <laughs> and we were all sick. We were all tired. Morale was super low. It's a Wednesday. We're playing in the in Hamburg. We get into Hamburg, and the streets are the smallest streets known to man. And we're driving this gigantic yeah, freaking bus. It's, it's like they built this city before cars were invented you, or You know, something. I don't understand well, And it. this was the first time that was Maxi like that. was yeah. like... Hey guys, I'm a bit tired. Is it okay if Brett Oh yeah, drives? is that the first day you drove? He yeah. was getting sick too. He was. Yeah. Yeah. And like I'm the only one that I think I'm the only other one. You know, you can drive stick too. I right? can. I yeah. never did. I I was going to near the end with that, you know, shenanigans, right. but I was anyway. the only one like that was kind of comfortable driving stick at the moment and just cuz I love driving. So I was like, okay, Night, yeah, Sean. Actually, see you I will I'll drive, right. and we get in there, and it's, yeah, literally the tiniest roads, and, like, we're trying to find this place, and we had to drive down this, the, Google took us down this one path that was a two-way street, but is literally, you have probably maybe a foot and a half clearance on the side of your cars yep. as you're driving down, and the first time we went through, it was fine, the second time we went through, it Shitloads of bikers, cars yeah, coming cars the other coming. way. Yeah, cars coming. I like hit the mirror. Yeah, you, on the you car. just like. Poof, I saw it happening too. It's like he's gonna get. It. He's gonna. Oh, there it goes. I'm yeah, glad that was, was the only thing I hit though. Yep. It's yep. like, hey Barry, thanks for joining us. 
Yo. So we so we pull in. Yo. And and they say, oh yeah, just pull up, uh, pull up on the sidewalk and unload, you know. And so we pull all the mm. way up to the brick of the freaking building, and, and and we're we're behind schedule and it's raining and it's raining and we're basically like completely blocking the sidewalk and even though we pulled mm. all the way up, we're completely also blocking like a full mm. lane of traffic, right? So um. And, and like I said, morale is at like 1%. So we get, I, I jump out of the van um, to open up the doors. This is my favorite story from the whole trip. Now, the, the whole time I'm in Germany, I'm, I'm telling the German guys that I only know two phrases. Uh, <laughs> ah, the schöne Blume, the fresh Luft, das ist ein primo moment for masturbieren in Oftenland. Which, which means, means, ah, the sun is shining, the flowers are blooming. This is a perfect moment for masturbation in the countryside. And the other, the other, uh, <clears throat> the other phrase that I know is, ah! My kleine Hosen is kaput, which means oh my small pants are broken, which is perfect for right now. <laughs> which is perfect for right now with these pig pants. So hello. So um, Aki's like I, I'm not here. He's like I'm, I'm not, not I'm not looking attention. over there. Yep. Um, <laughs> so we we pop out and we're 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 blocking this street, and um and I'm opening the doors and this old wicked witch of the west looking German woman like is going by on her bicycle going like. Ah, like yelling at me something in German about probably about how you shouldn't block the street and how we're being jerks and without skipping a beat I'm like yeah when my kind of is kaput just screaming at her you know cause like I've had enough you know I'm like sick and I don't even know and, and the rest of the guys like the doors are open so the rest of the guys hear this and morale goes up from like 1% to 5%. Well, it's like, okay, yeah. so it's it's one thing to be just like saying this stupid shit in the van all day while we're driving around because we're all a little goofy and tired and weird. But then, like, we stop and he's actually out in public and we hear him screaming that at somebody. <laughs> it's like a whole different fucking ball game. It's a whole oh, new yeah. thing. So it was amazing. amazing. It's like one of those moments it takes a second to register. Like, yeah. Oh shit, we're not just, in the van anymore. He just yelled that at somebody. Did he just say that to somebody? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, that was amazing. So, so we get out, um, we load uh, in through the window uh, in this place in Hamburg and it was a very small club. And it was us and um, Alter of Oblivion. That's when we met Alter, yes. Yeah, who's a band from uh, Denmark. And they came from eight hours away. And uh, unfortunately, mm. we didn't have any local support. So, like, the the turnout was pretty low. Um, but uh, Tom came, and we had, uh, and Christine came, and a, a couple of our Patreon backers uh, came. And it was, it was, you know, we got to play to them. Uh, and Tom brought his friend. <laughs> and Tom. Who's, who's also Tom? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tom, and I've never seen Brian go from like zero percent to fifty percent so fast, because um, because Tom made well you could tell him you could tell well him. I mean yeah I mean um, most of that trip I there was a bunk in our Sprinter van kind of so there's uh you know I don't know, two rows of seats yep and then the gears in the back and then there's like a bunk that you could get up in and sleep and I I spent most of that car ride up there so it took some pretty strong uh, like cold medicine in Vienna, and I, I was out, and I got up just in time to miss the Bone Church, um, <laughs> and then finish the drive to v, um, <clears throat> Hamburg. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I was pretty sick, pretty out of it. Still, my head kind of hurt a little bit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll get, oh, yeah, we'll get back to you just one, in in a second. Um, <clears throat> um, I got so it. yeah, you were sick. You got um, it. And so yeah, I mean it was. And then we got there, and you know this, the the club was super small. We're loading in through the window. It's raining. We're cold and sick. And I just screamed just like, at a German woman. Yeah, you know, like we're just we're just not you know feeling real good. And then and then uh, you know Tom shows up and he's got his um, Brian <laughs> fucking Koenig t shirt on. Oh and yes, yeah. I lit up just like a fucking Christmas yeah. tree. Yeah, yeah it yeah. really did make my day. And I knew when... this was coming because Tom had been, you know, messaging me back and forth. He's like, "Oh, do you think Brian would think it's weird?" I'm like, "No, I think Brian would think it's awesome." I think, <laughs> and I you think should totally do it. It was amazing. I think yeah. Abhorrent Studios just wrote, I, "I speak no no German, and I have um, three hundred. Uh, uh, I have three hundred and fourteen hodes. I think I think Hoda. I think he meant to." Right, Hosa, which means he has 314 pants. Okay, good. <laughs> I speak no German, and I have 314 pants. Good. 
Good. That's so what three hundred and fourteen like... is. Yep. Giant or I have three hundred and fourteen head. See, that's just German is such a that's weird. That's no reason. I don't, I don't get it. Sorry, Tom. But... Dry Hundert is three hundred and Viersen is fourteen. So so anyway, we so we play the show. Um, and that night, that night, <laughs> hold in his testicle. Oh, he's got oh. there 14 testicles. Oh, I see. I see. Well, there you go. That's a horse of a different color. <laughs> so that night we stayed in probably the best hostel of the whole. <laughs> At umlauts to taste. Yeah. Perfect. We, we stayed in the, the best hostel of probably the entire, yeah. the entire time. Do you, does anybody remember what that was called? What that hostel was named? <sighs> Spotted Ox Hostel. No. The coolest hostel in all the hostels in all of Europe. Yeah. I, I, I remember it vividly. It was really but... nice. It, it had <clears throat> Nintendos. It had, like, mini Nintendos in every room. Uh, it was, like, nautical-themed. <laughs> uh, it was I mean, it was really, 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 really cool. Uh, and it was super comfortable. Um, Hold God, on. I wish I knew... I, I wish I remembered what it was called, but it was so cool. Um, so, yeah, we had... I Is and, and then for Nintendo? Yep. Yeah. And and Brett gave uh, me and Brian a sleeping pill. Yeah, or was that me? I and got one sleeping pill. No, I, I had okay. one. That's yeah, right. I had a sleeping pill, and <laughs> and and Brent had a sleeping pill, and I was just like, boom, gone, done. It was like yeah. you close your eyes, and then you open your eyes, and it's ten hours later. Yep. Yeah, it was so <laughs> nice. Yeah. And and so um, the next night, I just want to say one thing. Yeah, Aki. The Hamburg show. Uh huh. First time that we got to try doner kebab. Yes, Ross right. right. directed us to a place nearby, and we got to try donor kebab. Aki, Fucking tell tell us about kebab. tell us about donor kebab, Aki. Uh, it's oh, delicious. Gosh. Oh, wow. I guess it's uh, it's somewhat sim- right. similar to getting like a lamb and beef shawarma, or uh, you know, <coughs> I'm gonna horribly mispronounce. I always forget how to say euro, euro, yeah, euros, gyros, yeah, uh, euros. Gyros. yeah. <laughs> Greek euros. In there, but it'll be fun. Um, okay. Okay. Or basically, <laughs> they have. Make sure you don't um, drink that first. You know, well, I you know either like a I'm chicken option or like a beef option uh, of, of meat spinning, you know, you being so. heated and they like shave off sides yeah. and they, yeah, uh, they either put it in a wrap or they put it in uh, between Pita. like some bread and it's um, really delicious. Oh, and it's so uh, <clears throat> while we were in Europe, I asked uh, Max and uh, Roth like what would they would call the quintessential most popular German food and they both told me donor kebab and... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it, it's really crazy, but a lot of the German cities we played, there were se- um, sections of these cities. Um, I remember being in Marburg where, like, literally, like, every block or two, there was a donor kebab place. I mean, they're really popular and they're open till like, 1 or 2 a.m. I wish we had them in oh, Madison because they they're they delicious, and I'm sure they would do oh, really yeah. well. They would yeah. do so well in Madison. And they were cheap, too, like, the amount of meat and food you got, mm-hmm. and they had a lot of good options. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. It would do so well. Do you think if we if they had more sanitary restrictions in America, it would yeah. cut down on their profits and they wouldn't yeah. do as well? Yeah, that was very funny. The place in Hamburg, <laughs> like, like, the guy just, like it didn't turn me no off or gloves. anything. Like I'm not that picky, but like Sweaty I love guy, that he just like, like took his finger when it was like missing <laughs> when some sauce slipped out and he just did this. Yeah. <laughs> I still super Buddha. You got uh, Mount Mountain Dew or Crab Clash. Oh yeah, super Buddha. Oh. That's what it was. Way to go, Mackenzie. What you yeah. Of that shit. That's oh. what it was, Super Buddha. That oh man, that place was great. That's your wife. Yep. Yep. <laughs> well, well, almost wife friend. Wife friend. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Fuck the what? Um, <laughs> Oxo. So okay, uh, the next what? day. So, um, the next day we would have had off if not for the amazingness of Tom, who is in the chat right now. So everybody, give Tom a virtual high Woo! five. Yes. Um, man. Tom is the man. Uh, and we, so we, uh, we, we went to Bremen and Tom had set us up a acoustic show in Bremen. Uh, we, and, and it was like the a German national holiday. So everything was closed and, um, we played in a gaming store and Tom was like, oh, you know, I've just set up a little, uh, uh, you know, a small, small sound set up and something. And we show up and like, there's a backdrop and there's like monitors and competent I mean, sound guy, hired, hired a sound guy. Sound there guy. was lights there it was like i was i was just sitting here like oh my god you know and he got us all the instruments yeah found us acoustic guitars and a cajon i mean it was like, insanity yeah. i mean we, 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 you know got got bread a great baba buoy to yeah, play babushka. Abs- baba bushka yeah <laughs> I mean, Tom really saved our butt. I mean, super duper saved our butt. I also love how you kind of like 
pulled the punches on the on the German accent when you were doing the Tom. <laughs> that was really good. Well, you know, I mean, you know. Well, he speaks like flawless English. Right, yeah. that's yeah. the thing. Like, I, didn't, I, I wasn't going <laughs> to, you know. He was so humble. He was like, oh, my English is not that great. And it's like, no, no. It's yeah, no, you're really, fluent. Really good. You're pretty fluent. <laughs> yeah. And he took us to get uh, a restaurant where we got some uh, North northern German well, food. Well, before that, he took yeah. us in like an amazing like tour guided of tour area. of Bremen. Yeah. Yeah. In a more historical area. And even yeah. before that, mm. my Japanese host dad. Oh, yes, yes. Showed up. He just so happened to be in Europe at the exact same time that we were we were also in Europe, and so we were chatting on Facebook. And he's like, he's like, hey, I can come up to Bremen, you know? I'm like, yes, you know, let's hang out for the day. And so we met him, and we and he went on the uh, on the like tour of Bremen that Tom did with us, and got some food, and it was yeah. super cool to see him. I haven't seen him in four and a half years, so it was really awesome nice. to catch up with him again. Um, yeah, and then we and so we got some awesome food. Went and saw some amazing places in Bremen. Uh, the, the the spitting stone where you spit where the woman's head landed. By inner yeah. siege, I yeah. assume Jeremy. Jeremy. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So I, see you, Jeremy. I, cheers, man. Yep. Talk cheers. soon. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and, and then we played the show. And like honestly, I didn't, you know, I was I was still pretty sick. My voice is kinda like, eh, kind of there, but it, it sort of rallied by the time we uh, Got on and man, that was hands down the best show of the tour. Yeah, yeah. easily, easily yeah. the best show of the tour. You and Brian too, like Brian was playing super awesome. You had this great banter, like I was impressed. Yeah, you 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 fun. you you played pretty well too. I played okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I give you give you a solid B minus. Pretty good. <laughs> I'll even say like acoustic shows aren't my personal favorite because I like the metal. Yeah, but that was my favorite night. Yeah. of the tour as well and yeah. we gotta play well, midnight yep we played yeah, we played our cover of los angeles we, we played we played we cross the line we played fire and sand uh cross the line we hadn't even rehearsed we hadn't true rehearsed yes it. we just yes. went for it we're just yeah. like uh okay but yes we did fire and sand and i know that's yeah. one of your yeah all-time I, I, faves i want the world to know that song yeah. <laughs> that's so hey good. if you want to know that song get on our patreon patreon.com slash lords of the trident <laughs> that was a tune off of Shadows from the Past that we only released, only for the Patreon backers. And you can get it right now, right where you're sitting, right on your computer. If you go to patreon.com slash of the trident, sign up for only a buck, and you'll get not only that, but all sorts of other amazing goodies. We just released another um, uh, interview from the Between the Waves Madison conference today. Um, man, you you get you get it all. Just go Ty to Patreon. Post a daily picture of him in his underwear. Right? Yeah, every yes. day uh, you get the underwear pictures. You know, <laughs> uh, if you go to you know ten dollars or more, you get the socks. The socks are free. Uh, you know that. You know, <laughs> Sam the Sam. Thanks for tuning in. Um, have a good night, man. Cheers. Pat has a serious. Question. Oh, serious question. How do you guys improve your audience banter? Man. Uh, okay. Get a tie. I mean, ties. Yeah, get it talks. exactly. Yeah. Get a tie. He's... It it is a. Uh, It is 50% the amount of gin and tonic I I (laughs) intake, like, right before the show. Do you drink gin and tonics? Well, I mean, I I like gin and tonics. When he feels like it. You know, but beer, too. A lot of, like, a lot of it depends on the crowd. Yeah. Like, sometimes Ty will say the same things, and, like, a crowd will just be like, play the next song, and then sometimes they'll, they'll, like, fucking eat it up, Mm -hmm. and then you can just, like, go all, like, it. It improves like everything. Yeah. Every time you say something, they get more and more interested. Yeah. So Pat, I mean, what what I would say for somebody trying to improve their stage banter is that <clears throat> you want to plan out um, and and almost script out about fifty percent of what you're gonna say. Uh, and that is oh Uh-oh. Andrew Smith. Oh my God, oh, five dollars. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh Appreciate my God, it. thank you so much. All the houses getting hit by cars lately, and yeah, yeah. No. You rest, dude. Don't get hit do by any cars. Do. Thank, yep. you, thank you, and we, we drink to you. Yeah. Yep. Thank you thank for you, hanging thank out you, with thank us you, tonight. Thank you. Um, okay, so yeah, but if, if you're planning on improving your stage mm-hmm. banter, what I would do is um, 50% scripted, <laughs> 50% improvised. If you get if you hit on something that when you improvise it when you improvise it like works really well, write that down, and that's now your new scripted material, and mm-hmm. that's how you do it every night. Beer. So you, you do 50% Beer. scripted. Beer. I'm, I'm good. Uh, you do 50% scripted, 50% improvised, and then if you hit on something, then keep it. And if it something doesn't hit night after night, then, you know, 
uh, work on to something new. I think <laughs> one of the biggest mistakes bands can make too is like when singers like resort to just saying the f word constantly. Like if you look at Ty. <laughs> He doesn't need to, like, constantly be like, raise your fucking hand, fuck yep. this, fuck that. Like, I want to see you guys make a fucking circle pit and fucking fuck, fuck your fuck. Yeah, it's like, that's <laughs> not the fucking very fuckers. effective. As every word in a sentence. <laughs> I, uh, sorry, I just wanted to say one random thing. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I love how, like, Lexi brought up that point about, like, people being like, oh, you have to excuse my English, and then, like, 90% of the time, like, English Flawless great. English, yeah. right? And it made me think of back in the day when I'd like cruise like the Harmony Central amp forms or whatnot, and someone post a clip and it'll be like, "Excuse the sloppy play, sloppy playing," and then they play like Mr. Crowley, note for note, perfect. And it's just like, but wait, wait, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, for us, it's like ex- excuse the bad German. Ach, my kleine Hose, it is kaputt. Yeah, yeah, perfect fluent German. Perfect. Hey, yeah. Uh, Pat, yeah, uh, remind us uh, where you're playing Friday night. Yeah, um, I know you told me. I just I uh, space it, so yep. Drop drop it in there so that uh, everyone knows. So and after after Bremen after the Bremen show, which was easily the best show, we we played to like I don't know thirty thirty five people in this, and it and it was all like Tom's friends, friends of the 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 club or the club, the <laughs> the, the store owner. Um, it was we like exa- we exhausted all the, the beer. The game players guild. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was it was our people. It was like straight up, you know, just the nerds, the game players. Like it was like I felt yes. like I was playing to our people. You know, Tom was, made us miniatures. You got to mention. Oh that. Sh- yeah. So Tom made us in miniatures, and they all got back to America perfectly intact, except Brian's head fell off. Um, and if his head fell just off, just like somewhere. playing in Vienna. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah. And so that Tom, that's back on the way to you. I know you've got the shipping, uh, the, the tracking number, and all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna get a new Brian head. It's gonna be shipped back. It's gonna be great. Um, but yeah, that was like one of the coolest gifts we had ever received. Uh, us in miniatures. It was like so amazing. So um, you're gonna have to find a way to like mount them underneath the the Heidi. Uh, yeah, I know, right. The Heidi things. Yeah. Oh, uh, did Heidi make those? Yeah, Heidi made she those. did. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, after that we went and got more donut kebab, which was amazing. Or like I pronounce it bad. It's like Dierner, Dierner, Dierner. There's an umlaut over the O. So Dierner kebab. So it's hard. Dierner. Tom uh, yell at me. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Tom. Uh, and then and then Tom goes and finds this bar. And he's like, "Hey, one of my, you know, one of the people that we're that we're with has like a sore throat. Can you turn? Can you give us a private room and turn down the music?" And they're like, "Yeah, that's fine." And so, and so we go down to this like Irish pub and we all drink and in this like quiet room and it's and, and we it's found perfect. and we found the one like American waitress in all of Germany. Yeah, yeah. she yeah. came and took our orders in perfect English and we're like, "Holy shit, are you from America?" And she's like, "I lived there for ten years." I'm like, "Yeah, all right." Yeah. It was I still, weird hearing someone speak like yeah, that. I still have the the little photos from the photo booth. Oh, yeah. oh god, it's basically my forehead, and that's about it. <laughs> yeah. oh, they're god. not. They're not good. I love how yeah. Max wanted to fit all of us. Yeah, together. Maxie yeah. was <laughs> like, we, "We have to go to the photo booth. We have to do it. We have to go." Yeah, and we tried was, to fit like was, twelve uh, people. He was loving there. life that night. Yeah. yeah. Well, we um, let him drink. It's like, all right, Maxie, yeah, have fun. I did like how <laughs> good natured everyone we encounter was, even when they were drunk. Yeah. yeah, everyone was very friendly. Yeah. So Pat, Pat is oh Pat's honoring playing the, the Wisco. Yeah, honoring the time honored Madison Band tradition of playing the Wisco. All right. So, well, we'll well try, done. Tear it up. I will try to make it. Uh, my wife's uh, parents are in town this weekend, but I will. Uh, I'll do my best to sneak away. I like how this band is an afterthought, but they're first. You think? Oh. They, you think they'd be headlining? Right. Yeah. All right. Work work on that one, Pat. Oh wait, we have one last band of the night. Afterthought. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yep. yep. All right. So um, so yeah. So uh, then we stayed in what I would surmise was the worst uh uh yeah hostel we stayed in. It didn't uh, help that we had like a a mile and a half, two mile walk to get to where. Right. We were going. So we stayed at this place. Yeah, it was pretty long. Even even being like drunk and like not fully aware of time, it was still really long. Yeah. yeah. So we stayed in this in this youth hostel that was like as bare bones mm-hmm. as it gets. You like, had to make your own bed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you made your own bed and 
and there's a like one sh- one bathroom on the floor, one shower on the floor. Yep, and nobody and had kind of a community thing. They didn't give you towels, you know. It was and so it was very bare bones, and it was it, you know it was a bit of a rough night. It was okay. Um, I mean, it's we not, had it's okay, Tom. It's, it's not, not it's Tom. Fault. It's not your fault. It's, not your yeah. fault. it's yeah. conditioning. It's seasoning. It's it's uh, character building. That's actually how I pictured all most hostels, hostels would to be. be. Yeah, but that was actually yeah. the low point in the hostel. Right, right. Yeah. I thought all hostels would be kind of like crappy, and then yeah. most of them were amazing. Pretty great. It, it wasn't basically like, hotels, yeah. but with multiple. Beds. It wasn't horrible, and they did have a good breakfast once we figured out where it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> true, true, true. Yeah. Um, and then so then we packed that up and we went to Marburg uh, the next night, and that was um, Maxie's hometown, and that was uh, Raphael's hometown. So this was kind of like the end of our tour. Ending at Marburg, um, we we could have gone to a Schaffenberg and played another acoustic show, but like we were still all sick and we were just kind of like, uh, you know, and we we're kind of dead. So we decided just to kind of hang it up in Marburg, and uh, we made it to Marburg. It was about four hour drive, and it was um, Marburg was a great show, and Marburg was a cute city. Oh my god! Yeah, Marburg was, Marburg like, was nice. Yeah, the 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 castles and the Oh my! It was great. We we had a yeah. That was Friday night, I think. Yeah, that was yeah. Friday night. So we had we had a we had a really nice crowd. I I feel like we made some uh, great new fans that yeah. night. Um, Especially the dude in the front that was like, oh, the 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 the, 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 the Marburg People's Champion. The, yeah, yeah. He was much. the People's Champion of Marburg. Absolutely. Um. And uh, yeah, I, the 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 only bummer I had was my I had a cable cutting in and out. Yep. So I was um, um, so that I got, I, I I feel like a lot of my frustrations of the trip and just general, like negativity came to a head as I was trying to play, and my shit was cutting out. Yep. And I, I I got really angry. There was um, some there was some punching of guitars going on and. And, you know, and our ears weren't all, all that great, and, you know, it was a kind of a small stage. But we had a really great crowd. Yes, the crowd was, was really good. And, good o- and overall, it was a really yeah. nice show, and it was a good show. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I would have loved, like, with a capital L to play Figaro one more time yep. on the European continent. And the last last thing I wanted would have been to be in the middle of the intro solo and my shit cutting in and out, and yep. that, that would have just been awful. Right. So right. it's it's all right. We'll come back. You do that we'll come back and we will play Figaro. Yep. And I googled and I will be much happier. Yeah. I googled finger guns ASCII and then copied and pasted the results. There you go. Who the hell makes that shit? Nerds, <laughs> nerds on the internet. Nerds yeah. on the internet. Um, hey so, pal, you get a little the nerd. The, <laughs> the next the next day we a little more of a regular like emoji Hold face. On. Finger guns do, ASCII. It's nice and creepy. Yeah, a- a- ASCII. ASCII. That's like the. the it's okay. Yeah. It's, all right. it's the term for like the character set that has all kinds of crazy shit like that. Yeah. Okay. All right, um, Erica. Thanks for joining us. Have a good night. Cheers. Yeah. Night. Good night. So so then the next day in Marburg we you know went around and saw the castle, hung out, and uh, from there we went back to Ooh. Brussels, uh, stayed in a different hostel, uh, did a, try tried our damnedest to do a live try and cast, but the internet was uh, not super cooperating until we went up into our Dirty room, uh, and uh, you yeah. get to have cheap Bel- Belgian beers one last cheap time. Belgian beers one last time. Then we then we got yeah. We did have a yeah. nice day of sightseeing in in um, in Brussels. Um, we did. Yeah. Where uh, and by that point Heidi was with us yep. and Alyssa was with us, and we, we got to see some uh, amazing churches. Yep. Uh, yeah. Went and saw a really great garden. Yeah, all this stuff and the, the musical instrument. Uh, oh, the musical museum. instrument museum. Yeah, yeah. All this stuff is on uh, our YouTube channel. Uh, and uh, under the Trident Tour uh, wrap-ups. So go go check it out. Um, so that was our European vacation. And uh, European vacation. <laughs> that was National Lampoon's European vacation uh, 20, 2019. And you know what? It would have not been possible without the support of people like you. People on our Patreon at patreon.com slash of the Trident literally... It would have not been possible. We're yeah. not faking it. Yeah, we like couldn't fucking do this. We so. spent eleven thousand dollars on this, uh, and we didn't make back eleven thousand dollars. And we would have gone. I would have been hounding this guy. 
for like twenty five hundred dollars. You know, I have three dogs, dude. So let's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't for the support of our amazing, amazing Patreon backers, twenty five hundred dollars and three dogs. I want twenty five hundred yeah. dogs Sam, and three you. dogs. <laughs> yeah. And and you know what else? It wouldn't. We. You know what else would have happened? We wouldn't have been able to get our instruments over there without our support of our sponsor. Boom. SKB cases, baby. Woo! Woo! SKB. Uh, they are the best cases. You know what? Put your put your baguettes. Put your duck confit. Put your uh, oh, your that's... egg uh, uh, that's goblets into food. your SKB case. <laughs> you can kick it down a stair. A case you can you can make your bus out of SKB cases, and you won't get the scrape that we had. <laughs> get get SKB cases. Uh, they are the best cases in the world. Um, I bought a case just for this trip, and I'm still using it because it's amazing. It is amazing. I swear I'm not a corporate shill. Really good. Yeah. And not <laughs> only that, their customer support is A+. Plus. Um, Aki had a little run-in with uh, his SKB case. Uh, somebody on the tarmac was like, I hate my job. I hate my life. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this giant knife out, and I'm going <laughs> to cut off the bottom of this SKB case and Aki got and he's like, oh no. You know what SKB did? They said, hey, that's cool. We know all about disgruntled employees and we'll uh, <laughs> we'll refund it. You know, we'll get you a new case for free, baby. And that that's actually, what SKB does. That actually happened on this trip. Yeah. There's a portion that's missing a, a, after it came in in Chicago. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yep. I know well, that. What was missing? It, like it wasn't standing up quite straight and I noticed that the it was case? missing like a, uh, yeah. Yeah, one of the same quarter of the bottom. One of the disgruntled employees yeah. took their knife and just cut off the one of the feet and was like, Haha, "Let's yeah, see that. It's like it broke off. See that guy do it now." You well, got... hi Sam with Sarah. Yeah. Uh, thanks for hanging out at Battle Beast. That was way before Europe. Uh, yeah. yeah, Battle Beast was great. Um, yeah, you another know, great Sunday night show. Yeah. You know who else gives us a lot of support and sponsorship? Boss Meadery. We just had our Patreon show at Boss Meadery. Go drink all of their meads. Boss is. The boss. I just came up with sure. that. How do you like it? Let us know in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then of course Wheelhouse whiskey. If you need, look at that. He's killing it. If, he if, did it. Oh, yeah. This whiskey's gone, but Wheelhouse whiskey remains forever, <laughs> forever in our hearts, forever in our minds. And and we have one more sponsor. We have a brand new sponsor, uh, Scorpion Percussion. And I don't think they have a tagline, so I'm gonna make one up right now. Um, oh, Tommy ate it. Look at it. Oh. He ate it. He hate it. All right. I'm going to make one up right now. Scorpion Percussion. I'm in Arizona. Oh, God. Oh, I, I put my foot into my boot, and I just got stung. Time by... to drink. Tom, thank you. Oh, my God, Tom. You're amazing. Woo! Please interrupt this horrible. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> drinking. All right. So I... much booze. Here you go. Oh, oh God. Oh, sorry. Oh. Thanks, Tom. Oh, thanks, Tom. The vulgar display thank you. of you, Tom. fucking liquor. You... Thank you. Please come back to you me someday. You're too well... Much. Oh, we're going to come back to Germany. I, I'll, I have a little bit of news from that. After this word from our sponsor, Scorpion Percussion. Oops, I'm in Arizona. I put my shoe, my foot into my shoe. Ouch, I got stung by a Scorpion Percussion, and I'm allergic to hickory. Ah, ah. We'll work on it. We'll keep uh, good. So, in, uh, in Bremen, there's a statue of four animals. Yep. And if you touch the donk, if you touch the donkey's feet at the same, at, time. At the same time, grab grab the legs. Tom yeah. told us that that means that you have to come back to Bremen and and uh, we're going to be coming back to Europe in 2021, July, July of 2021, tentatively, Tom, because <laughs> we have tentatively uh, an invitation to play Headbangers Open Air with Mega Colossus. So. Tom, be awesome. Uh, this keep, is the donkey's fault. It's the donkey's fault. Keep keep the bed warm for us for two years. You know, I grab, I grab, I, I honestly didn't know what the story was. Um, so I like, um, I, I did that and I looked over and this one like old German dude looked at me with the most salty, disapproving look I had ever gotten in my whole fucking life. Oh really? Yeah. This one, this one like old German dude was just like, no. You and, was, and, and like, and I got let go, and I kind of look back at him, like, what? And he, he's just kind of like, and like walks <laughs> away. I'm like, really? What the fuck's wrong with you, you jackass? Where was that? It was in, it was in the Bremen. Donkey grabber. Yeah. Oh, the, the, oh, the donkey yeah, grabber. Right. Apparently, that made some old jerk off really angry. Yep. So yes, we're gonna come back to Germany, 2021. 
uh, and we'll probably, you know, do a little bit more of a European tour. We'll absolutely, positively, 100,000% play Bremen again, because, holy shit, Tom is amazing. Um, Acoustic and electric. Yeah, we're going to do both. <laughs> you know, it's going to be amazing. Um, do the Trident-Mobile. So that was a European tour, and I think now... Yes. What we Tom, need, Tommy can be your hot merch girl, hype man, <laughs> hype man. Yeah. Yep. I think now what we need to do, since it is the spooky cast, and we've talked about the European tour for we, so long. I think like in like kind of this is our first time in Europe, and like we made some mistakes. We need to know what we need to do right. Yeah, we That's learned a lot. It's time for you better, you better, you, <laughs> you better, you better, you, Brett. Probably not. <laughs> Someday when you do the the King Diamond, Grandma, Grandma. <laughs> probably right. not. Probably, Brett, probably what better not, you do? Probably not drink so Don't much. Don't drink when too you're much on us. Talk about on something. A podcast. <laughs> yeah. I honestly don't really have. You have no wisdom to say. from. Well, Europe okay. The only thing I have right now is so obviously I just got engaged to my lovely fiance. So Mackenzie. you Yay. better pick a wonderful spot to. Right. Exactly. That's what I was gonna say. And I. <laughs> Granted, this whole trip helped plan the situation, but if any of you know Castle Neuschwanstein, it is like the <laughs> castle of can you castles. Say, can you say the name of it again? Neuschwanstein. Okay, good. One more time. Neuschwanstein. Thank you. Am I saying it wrong? Really? No, it's fine. I'm, it's great. How do you say it? I don't know. It's just, it, it, like, it's one of those words that... By default, you sound drunk when you say it. Yes. It's like saying the word judicial. It's like, you always sound drunk. It's like, sir, the judicial says, like, how many drinks have you had? Nothing. I'm, I'm sober. Judicial. It's like, oh, okay, put them away. Neuschwanstein. 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 And, you know, I'll give Ty to post the picture of where it is because it's quite nice. But, so we did it on, there's this bridge called the Marenbrook. Over that looks overlooks New Schwanstein Castle, which was <laughs> King Ludwig of Bavaria, some number, I don't know. He went crazy, <laughs> got arrested, ended up dead in a lake somewhere. Anyways, hell happened. Yeah. Living your best but life. <laughs> this castle's this like is the if yeah, you look I'm up on, I'm European right castles, it's probably the first one that comes up, especially German <laughs> castles. Yeah. Um. So I it chose sound like that. New Schumstein. You're saying New Chimney. New yeah. Ch- yeah. Yes. It-, <laughs> it had a new chimney at one point. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe they have multiple chimneys. I don't know, Tom. Yeah. Zingo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on. Zingo. Zingo. <laughs> so, if you're going to propose to your lovely betrothed other half, <laughs> pick a cool place like Germany. Yep. That's a good call. Or something like that. Yeah. She liked it. All right. It worked. You're going to like it, too. You're going to like it, too. (laughs) Ooh, you better, you better, you brat. So, okay. So, uh, Kelly asked, like, what the fuck, guys? Like, I walk away, and I hear all this high-pitched following voices. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? What did I just miss? So, there is a song by The Who. Um, I don't even know what it's actually called. Uh, You you better, you better, you better, you bet. You better, you better, you bet. So that is a a really awful quotation of that. Wait, are you um, serious? I never realized that. Yeah, yeah we played that. We played, we played, we played, we played it, it on the way to Thor. That's the whole joke. Yeah. Oh my god, I never noticed. It must have been like tuning it out. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'll uh, look it up. When I say, well, how does it go? You if better. I say it need you to know, you better. You, you better, better, you better, you, you Brett. Bet. Yeah. Yep. And then that that just became you better, you better, you Brett. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Huh. That was a that was a last minute decision, like on his first podcast ever, to put him on the spot, like, like straight because, away. Yeah. Because Doctor Vitus used to have Doctor Vitus's gross medical fact, and I'm like, we gotta have <laughs> the new drummer's gotta have something, and it's like his name is Brett. Oh, you better, you better, you Brett. America's second favorite, yeah. uh, Trident Cast segment. It's really not that. Kelly, I I agree. It, it is not a great second song. out of two. <laughs> yeah. um, you know what? Especially by whose standards, it's not a great song, but it totally works here. You know what? America's story. number one favorite segment on the podcast. Podcast is the one that everybody has been waiting for. People have been staying up. People have been waking up in Germany to to see <laughs> to know what Aki's tour recap. What Aki's cat <laughs> picture of the month is. Aki, hit us with us. Hit us. Hit us with us. 
this cat picture. I've just posted it in the chat. Please check out the cat picture. It is magical. This is your spooky cast cat picture of the month. I'm trying to get... Okay, here we go. Here we go. So, I, I'm curious what Brent thinks, because he's the photographer, and I Such really like this picture. Such a good photo. It is a great photo. Yeah. All the detail of all the hairs. Yeah. Oh, that's good. You might have to zoom out a little, Brent. But I, I really like this, because I, uh, I was noticing it's, uh, you know, it's fall, and uh, we've had a lot of, like, darker overcast cool days and i don't know why but whenever i get those dark overcast days especially if there's a little fog it makes me get into like a very like pensive thoughtful mood and i want to solve mysteries yeah and <laughs> i love how deep this cat looks and i think a lot of times um you know although they're they're not capable as of high thinking of uh, as human beings i think a lot of times we don't realize how human like cats and dogs can be and I think it's very funny, but, like, I've definitely noticed with cats, for example, like, they can get, like, embarrassed or jealous or whatnot, and I think a lot of times they're, they're a little more, they're a little more complex in their thinking and whatnot than we think, and I think that's one thing that really intrigued me with this picture is this cat has this, like, uh, deep in thought, like, uh, self-reflective look to it, which I really like. Yeah. Plus, I'm a kind of a sucker for tabbies. That's like you know that you know it's often like the the the, the mutt cat look you get. You right. can mix a bunch of different varieties. You can have black cat, you know, a gray cat, and then you, you know they have kids, and then the one number of the kittens will be will be uh, tabbies. And I don't know. I'm I'm just a sucker for tabbies. And I saw this one, and I was just like, oh, I love. I love like the emotions it's it's uh, evoking, and I love like the lighting and everything. Yeah. Brent, what's your what's your photographer opinion? Uh, it's a good photo. I, it's very important that they nail the focus on the eye, which yeah. they did, and they didn't use like a, like, kind of like a, <clears throat> an allegory for like I don't know, guitar wankery would be like to make their depth of field as shallow as possible for no particular reason, and they didn't do that. Right, and it's not like too shallow. Is that where the background's all like blurry, or yes? That... But you can control how much of it is, and they didn't do too much, which I like. Oh, okay. And I then, think... like the lighting is good. Oh, that okay, really nice. is a, like a very nice allegory for guitar playing nice. in general. Uh, I thought it was going to be like I'm really glad like you got these notes you're playing. How much like bullshit are you actually pulling and here? And the cat, it's kind of rich guitar. It's kind of just really... like a, a bullshit like. <laughs> Look how good I am, but I'm not actually that good kind of setting. Okay. So right. that's why I drew the comparison. Aki, whenever I have the rest of well, every all of you over to my house at some point, like I said, I was going to be TBD. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'll be excited to meet uh, our cat Hagen. She's like a tabby that has like white paws. Oh, nice. She's I like a, when they have little boots yeah, or different she's colors. A sweetheart. <laughs> nice. um, let's see. Other, other notes um, from Europe. Real quick, um, ha, did, did um, the at least the cabaret, we're musicians. cabaret uh, found us <laughs> first? Originally, found out who we were through the metal musicians react to pop music. Yeah, yeah. Oh, which yeah. still makes me go, what the fuck? And yeah. almost well, everybody we met is that Tom, is and is Tom and and I think that's that. how Tom found us too. Yeah, is so that how is that how Yana found us? Yes. Pretty much all of our super fans. So, in here. That stupid. I, it's not stupid, but like that fucking video. I, I can't shout out believe to, it. Shout, shout out, out to Cole. Cole. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we like I. This yeah. video has been looked at one point one million times, yeah. and the other one a quarter it, of a million times. Yeah, yeah. and it yeah. and it's making uh, you know opportunities for us around the globe now. Yeah, yeah. Shout it's out like to my, unbelievable. To my close friend Cole, Cole Doctor, D O C K T E R. Yep. Go to his website. Go to his. Uh, his work YouTube. is impeccable. It really yeah. is. He's got Patreon. Follow him on Patreon. Do all the things. Yep. Someone in this chat mentioned they came here because of Cole. Right. I forget right. who it was. Well, and, and I've seen that time and time again, and it's crazy because, like, you know, we before Cole's video, we had about eight hundred subscribers on YouTube, and then after Cole's video, we have seven thousand. Yeah. Good so lord. So it's like, I mean, uh, you know, and and yeah, it, it's 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 just you well, never you never know what's gonna hit. Yeah, and for I mean, some reason the YouTube algorithm blessed us, and it's like okay, a million people have seen my big so, dumb face so, now. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's really crazy. Okay, thank you, Tom. 
I mean, here's the thing. I mean, um, <laughs> yes, that's yes, the and, moment, Tom. Yes, that's that, the fucking everyone, moment. everyone loves that part. And I, <laughs> yeah. and I didn't even, and yeah, like I go to drink, put it back down. And I, I like, that was not premeditated. I was I just know. like, um, <laughs> that's that the first one or the second first one. First one. Oh, I should check that out again. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, like the thing that is, yes, it's been viewed hundreds of thousands of times. We've made a lot of videos on our own that we tried to get viewed hundreds of thousands of times, really and none tried. of them, and none of them were. So um, I don't know what it was about that. I mean, we'll take it. We will absolutely uh, yeah. take it. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, gods. but but I mean, we we have been trying. I joined the band in fifteen, and we've been trying to do that ever since two thousand fifteen, if not before. Oh yeah. And, oh, yeah. you know, everything we could think of, every goofy, weird, funny, serious, whatever thing, you know, that we could to drum up that kind of traffic. And this is what did it. Yep, this so, is the one thing that hit. And, uh, you know, uh, I'll, I'll take it. I, I Part of me wishes it would have been something that I made. But that being said, like, I I don't care. I will I will take it, you know. But you... you... In a sense, made a lot of that video. I like, mean, yeah. Will, like, will welcome like to the club. Will, will yeah. uh, Tube, Tube, Tube. Yeah, like, yeah. Thank the, you for joining us tonight. The, the thing that the thing that um, that I've talked to people about this, and and the thing that really strikes home, is that like we have all this content, and we've made all these videos, and we have that ready for a person who found us, you know, from from metal musicians react to pop it wasn't like we just had one music video and that was it we had like a treasure trove of five years of content ready right. for anybody who you know saw that and and wanted to see more and so i think that was, was that was even, the real yeah, even even mildly curious to jump down that rabbit hole and see how deep it goes yeah, yeah. i mean I, I i don't know i don't know how many you know bands that have been around for as long as we have that have like you know 13 music videos like right. probably not <laughs> too many so you know, uh, Did you yeah, I, that by accident. I Damn, millennials killing hooters and napkins and apple. <laughs> yep, but you know, so it's nah. so. I mean, like, I'll I'll definitely take it, and it, I think it it was a, an amazing amazing boon for us. It was really great. Well, if it if it you know if if uh, you know now we know Tom, now we know Sophie, now right. we know we met so many cool people due to it. Yeah. So. Yeah, people on the other side of the globe. Right, the fact that That's we really went to a, Europe a remarkable and people thing. traveled like more than two hours to come see our show is like... Yeah, it was totally worth it. Yeah. Totally worth it's it. It's crazy. Yeah, so... Yeah, and I, I, to, to sum up, um, if like the single best thing about this Europe trip was having FaceTime with these new fans... Oh, yeah. ...who are now, I, I hope, friends... Yep. You know, uh, you know, people who probably weren't weren't sure that we'd ever meet in person, and we did. You know, and, and we had a meal and hung out and got to see you know awesome hometowns and things like that. Yep. And um, you know, I think that's the real value and awesomeness of a trip like what we did. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, and lifelong fans and now friends. You know. Yep. So. So, uh, you know, I'd, I'd love to continue uh, the spooky cast. And, We've been going for like two hours. And, to, and talk about our favorite spooky movies. Uh, but, yeah, we've been going for two hours now because, because the, Europe was, the Europe thing was so extensive. We played a Patreon show, and it was awesome. Let me just give a shout-out to everybody who brought food, especially the person who brought the brownies with uh, the cookies on top. Oh Tom! Oh, Tom. oh cheers! God damn it, Tom! God damn it, <laughs> the best Tom. Yeah, Tom's the best jerk. Cheers. <laughs> so, um, whoever brought the brownie where they cook the cookie on top of the brownie? Oh fuck! Good God. lord! Like oh, I missed the that. thing was it was so amazing. Good. Um, thank you to everybody who brought the whoever brought the happy birthday cookie thing platter. That was amazing. To everybody who brought food, it was really really fun. Uh, thanks to everybody who came out to our Patreon party. It's one of my favorite shows of the year. It just reinforces how lucky we are to have everybody uh, supporting us um, in our lives. And I hope we can be friends with all of you. <laughs> you <know>. Slow fire. <laughs> I'd like to be the like YouTube community manager. Oh, yeah. You're just going to insult Tommy over and over? Uh, sure. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. All right. Uh, Lexi uh, sent... Uh, uh, message me a link to that video. I'll, yeah, uh, I'll she take sent me the um, yeah. 
a link to it. So cool. Um, so yeah, a Patreon show went well. There's a lot more we could talk about in there, um, but you know we're kind of out of time. Uh, two things I'll say real quick. I saw, I just I just finished Midsummer, uh, made by the guy who did Hereditary. Which Aki, did we talk about Hereditary on we the last Spooky Cast? I don't know, but yeah, I think we we might have. By the way, I think you and I both agreed we really uh. liked it. If there's two Pardon horror me, movies sorry. for the spooky cast that we'd recommend that you go see, Hereditary is number one, and I think Midsummer for me, is number two. Really, really good. I really loved it. So, um, For modern ones. For modern ones, yeah. If any of you are American Horror Story fans, this season is okay. It's okay? Um, it's okay. All right. I have not seen any scary movies, but I am playing at the Hody. on ah! That's horrifying. Yeah, well, you said it like more, so, more you said like, like the Odo from Wicked yeah. Touch. So, so uh, I'm I'm playing <laughs> oh, at no, um, Saturday no. night. I'm playing a, ho- a Halloween costume party at the Hody um, with Reloaded. It's horrifying. Are you ready for some bullshit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, other than that, um, uh, actually, Halloween night, I will probably be at the Alliant Energy Center. It will be the opening night of what's called what's called Game Hole Con. Yeah. Um, and that will go. Uh, you know, Tom, you would actually, if you were stateside, I think you would have a blast with this. It's basically just a, a board gaming convention that happens at the uh, you know convention center here in town, and it runs from Thursday through Sunday. Um, our our great fellow friends in guys games and beer, they set up um, an eight person. Um, steel battalion thank you i was facing that i know they set up a, a networked eight person steel battalion which is essentially you're walking around in a giant mech um and you're blowing other people up um and it's, it's awesome it's a lot of fun so that that happens all weekend uh first weekend in november after halloween andrew and i will be hanging out at that pretty much the whole weekend um so if you are uh, madison side and uh, you know you like board games or that game? Come by and say hi. We will be there. We'll be hanging out. So yeah, we're we talking about scary movies. We were talking about scary. Yeah, movies. Yes, so I, I kind of hijacked that conversation right before I this. Relinquish. I watched the first 10, 15 minutes and the last fifteen minutes of Scream. <laughs> oh, good. But I didn't see any of the middle part. But I think uh, I got it. Okay. Is that the first time you've seen that movie? It's, yeah. It is a classic. What? I, don't yeah. I don't watch movies. Uh, oh. I, on the plane over to Europe, I watched. <laughs> I watched the new remake of Pet Cemetery. It was all right. Yeah, it was okay. Okay. I give it a six. Six out of ten. On um, on the flight to Europe, I rewatched Jaws. For the first time in about thirty years, I mean, like literally the last time I saw it, I was like ten. So um, it has actually aged pretty well. Really? Uh, yeah. For for a movie that came out in nineteen seventy eight or whatever, it it aged pretty well. Uh, yep. It's it's crazy to see uh, Richard Dreyfuss so young, right? Because right. he's like yeah in his late twenties in that movie or something. So so yep. you watched the first fifteen and the last fifteen of Scream? Yeah. And that's about all you need, I guess. I know. I feel like I got the whole thing. Yeah, you yeah. did. Well, this filled me in on like you missed some of the deaths. And the Fonz is the principal. Yep. But all you God, really, all you really care about is the killers, and that's right. yeah. Beginning but and like, end is the killer. But like the, th- you, you miss the, uh, the point where you realize there's more than one. Yeah. Oh well, I got that in the last part. It was pretty clear. Okay. Oh, you spoiled it for everybody who hasn't seen it. I'm the only person that <laughs> hasn't, hasn't seen it. You're the only person I mean, in the whole universe who hasn't seen <laughs> Scream at this point. <laughs> exactly. All right, well, you ghouls and ghosts, you denizens of all of the internet, it's getting very late. And so now... I'm very drunk. We're going to leave you with the scariest thing of tonight. Ah! <laughs> all right, so we'll see you later. Ah! Thank you. Ah! 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 Ah!